Today's episode of Angela Yee's Lip Service is brought to you by Showtime and the critically acclaimed series The Shy. The heart and soul of Chicago's South Side lies in its community. But when your world is a daily struggle just to get by, can you rise up and stand tall to realize a better tomorrow? Watch as Ronnie, Brandon, Emmett, and Kevin confront the tough choices that will shape their futures in The Shy. Created and executive produced by Emmy winner Lena Waithe and Academy Award winner Common. The new season of The Shy premieres Sunday, April 7th at 10 p.m. only on Showtime. Lip service. All right, all right. What's up? It is Lip Service. I'm Angela Yee. I'm Gigi McGuire. I'm Avian. And I'm JoJo. JoJo's here with us. Yay. You're friends with L'Oreal, but unfortunately L'Oreal's not here, so... I know. I know. It's but fun. we had to have you on because we've been watching Love & Hip Hop Miami. Right. (laughs) We've been watching the drama unfold. I haven't been watching it, so I hope you guys have been enjoying it. Are you like the villain this season, you feel like? Yeah, I feel like that's what it's looking. I went from being like the superhero to like the villain Mm -hmm. all in one year. I have to be honest, I'm like two episodes behind because I watch it on DVR when I, you know, when I have TV time. So I'm not all the way caught up on what's going on. But yeah. (laughs) They're trying to make me look bad. They're trying to make you look bad. And I appreciate that because you know you my girl. Yeah. (laughs) But I feel like when people, people that follow me, people that know me, they know how I am. People they liked you on lip service last time a lot. Oh, mm-hmm. they did? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. It's also the way they edit the show, too, right? That makes you... It's so much to it. Like, mm-hmm. people don't understand. People... It's so many ignorant people that really think, like, you're going about your life and cameras just follow you. And it doesn't work. Like no. That. Right. Like, you know, stuff is written out. Yeah. Like, they and tell you to do see. something. You don't know what you're mm-hmm. doing. Then they edit right. it. You know, it's a bunch of different shit. What was the most surprising thing to you that happened this season that you didn't expect? I had a rough season, so yeah, I'm like, like it yeah. could be anything. Which every thing? week, every week, I was like, God damn! Like, um, the way the producer set the stuff up, because you know, when you're filming, you don't know what else, ev- what everybody else is filming. So if the producer comes, tells me like, Yo, we're gonna do this. I'm like, Cool. So I'm doing it, and I leave. That's it. And so when you sit down and you watch it, the way they piece it together mm-hmm. and edit it together, I was like, damn, y'all yeah. was plotting on me the whole time. They create their own yeah. narrative. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You were also dating Pleasure P. Bruh, listen. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, um, it was one date. Dating, dating and going like on one was day. dating. I know, but like I said, it's reality TV. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you weren't at all like attracted to him or you no, don't no, see no. that Ple- going anywhere? No, Pleasure's not really my type. Mm-hmm. Um, I love him though as a person. He's a great friend. Like I'm happy to hear that because I wasn't, I was like, not Pleasure. Like you yeah. don't seem like, like you I, said, he's not your type. Right. And nothing against Pleasure because, you know, he's cool and all. But when I saw that they were saying that y'all was together, I was like, it wasn't a match. Right. Like I ain't really, I ain't buy it. Then so you was with other to know that it wasn't for real. Be. Yeah, but you know, it just everything sometimes has to make sense on TV. Mm-hmm, you know what right. I mean? So, you know, I took one for the team. It was cool. We went on a date. If it wasn't for love and hip hop, I would have never gone on a date with P. Right. But at the end of the day, he's a great person. So, you know, I don't give a fuck. You said he's not your type. So what is your type? I like the complete opposite. Like, you know, he's like just such a sweetheart. And you want to get you like up. bad boys. She like <laughs> I want to be treated Listen, badly. She like him from Opalaka. <laughs> I like my real rough. But what's, like, how rough? What's here's my she like him from the pork and beans. I know. Listen, you gotta grow out of this. I man. said I was gonna grow out of it last time. Yeah, you did here. say that. <laughs> I you tried. Did. You see, I tried with pleasure. Didn't work you out. You like him from the pork and beans. You, you don't like want him pleasure. You want pain. Um, honestly, right now, it's like, I can't find nobody that I like. Mm -hmm. But do you think that makes you judgmental to certain guys? Because you're already going in with the perception of, I like bad guys. I like, you know, I like it rough. So if you see a guy that's too sweet, you might kind of be like, I mean, it's not even that. Like, for example, right? If I go on a date with a guy, let's, let's give Pleasure P as an example. Okay. Let's say something goes down. Right? I need to make sure you can protect me. (laughs) You don't think Pleasure P can protect you? No. He be doing them body rolls. And Girl, like, <laughs> I need to make sure that, you know what I'm saying? Damn. I can be protected. Like, if right. something goes down, like, you you, you can fight. He could probably fight. No. You feel like he was going to have to defend yourself? It? And it happens all the time. Every, every time there's an argument or whatever, he's not going to, like, you know what I mean? He kind of just like, <laughs> all right. Like, he wanted to be more aggressive. Yeah. Hmm. I think any girl would want their guy to defend them. You know what I mean? Of course. Yeah. Yeah. So now let's just say there's a situation going on and you're fighting somebody, a girl. Should your man step in or what's he supposed to do? 
break the fight. Break you know what up. I mean? Yeah. yeah, break the fight. You don't just be stand bad. there. He can't like put his hands on right. anybody. Not, but you can, you know, grab the other girl, grab me, do something. Because yeah. even grabbing somebody, don't grab me. Like, oh, no, he get didn't too much. put his hands on her. <laughs> grab her. Do something though. Yeah, break it up for sure. Break it up. Yeah. Try to avoid it from happening. In Listen, the first place. I had a situation when I was younger, and my ex boyfriend, he, um, his baby mom, like broke my windshield, right? <sighs> but I was upstairs, and so <laughs> we came running downstairs. I heard the alarm, and she tried to come running, running at me with like a broom. <laughs> a broom. And he, he kind of like, he kind of grabbed her, and she got him arrested. He didn't for that. do nothing to her, but he grabbed her. And when the cops came, she was like, he put his hands on me. He threw oh, me on all this stuff. And he ended course. up getting arrested. And then um, but he But did they warrant. see your windshield? <laughs> yeah, but she got arrested too. They both oh. got arrested. But because she said that he did that, they both yes. ended up getting yeah, arrested. Because all but it takes he is for ended you to up make having a warrant. Mm-hmm. And then they don't have he to gave have a fake proof. name. And then she was like, no, his real name is da 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 da. And he had a warrant. So he ended up going to jail for like three months. Wow. But why would he give a fake name knowing that she was already being petty? Right. And she was going to. Well, I don't him. think that he knew she was here. Oh, what his okay. name was. Mm-hmm. Right. Then his mom came too and she was like, he lying, lock him up. His name. Oh, it was shit. crazy. The mom? Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> but anyway, my whole point was. Sometimes things backfire, like, you know, for guys, because anything that they do when, and I get it, your instinct should definitely be to protect your woman, mm-hmm. no matter what. Listen, Even if my you- ex, I remember was an incident in the mall. He was like, I don't give a fuck. I'll slap a bitch for my girl. That's the type of <laughs> yeah. shit I like. You no, know what I'm saying? Jojo. Yeah. No. But then you can't get him arrested. She pressed charges yeah. against him. And the next thing you know, he's a well, domestic. If he really knocked her type- out. No, I understand. Listen, I get it. I'm not saying I'm right. I'm just saying that's what I like. I like what I like. I like what you like, girl. Yeah, so to go from that to that, to go from that to like a pleasure, I I just couldn't do it. Mm. And you was beefing too much with other girls. You don't want all that drama. Right. Exactly. Or do you? No. (laughs) No, I don't. (laughs) But that's what comes with like bad boys and guys that's a little rough around the edges. You got to deal with all that. I feel like it's any guy, though. Like, that's how I feel. Because I see regular guys, like, doing all types of shit to their girls, too. We want you to just have a nice guy, basically, is what we're saying here. I know, okay, guys. I mean, hook me up with somebody. (laughs) God damn it. (laughs) Who? (laughs) We We got to bring the the dating game back on the show. We got to get you Gigi's glasses like Gigi's and then get you out here. (laughs) Somebody like that. I need my own dating show. She needs a financial advisor. There you go. For the love of JoJo. She probably going to pick the most (laughs) ratchet (laughs) type guy. I know. I'm going to be like, oh my God, this didn't work out as we planned it. What kind of guys do you like, Avian? Since we're talking about it. I don't know. I feel like my type in the past has changed. Like, you know how sometimes you say you have a type and you go date somebody that's kind of not really a type. Um, But to kind of keep it simple, I like a guy that's tall. Well, you're tall. Um, Yeah. I like a guy that's tall, sexy, like smells good, keeps himself clean, is definitely doing something with his life. Cleanliness is next to godliness. Yeah. Has his nails clean. You know what I mean? Smells good. Dirty nails will give you an infection in the cooch. Exactly. Girl. Mm -hmm. You know? (laughs) Wash no, them hands. Just, oh, I think man. it's just the little things. A guy that could be a gentleman, a guy that could definitely protect me and make me feel like I'm safe around him. He's not right. a pussy. Mm-hmm. You know. Um, oh, hey, Candy. Yeah. Candy's here. Hey. Oh, I should come and have a seat, Candy. So what was y'all talking? Yes, please. Thank you. Oh, she we're talking about JoJo because she likes rough guys and we're trying to make her grow out of that. Since, yeah. since last year, they've been trying. I did try. You know, this season I tried to date somebody that was the opposite. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She did a pleasure P for a second. Yeah, for like one day. For one day. For one day. Yeah. They went on a date. <laughs> a date. For one day. Okay, so yeah. why was it only one day? He's too nice. Soft. That's why. Soft. Soft. So what do they normally be doing? Feminine ish. Like, I don't know. Yeah, what, what, what did you expect you think he's from feminine? him on the first date? I just thought he was a nice guy. He I was like a nice guy. <laughs> he was too nice. nice guy. Right. It's feminine. a problem. Mm-hmm. He was too nice. No, you know the outfit. Like for me, I don't like guys that wear crystals and all that shit. Mm. <laughs> you know, yeah. like when the crystals come in, and <laughs> it was just too crystals. much. Like, yeah, from the crystals, you know, he had he like a stage outfit. Me. I have on crystals. Yeah, yeah. But you're a female. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. You know, I'd rather a guy wear like a plain freaking jogging suit, right? Than like the crystals and the boots and all that. You probably yeah. like him to just wear a wife beater and go out like that. I would love that. <laughs> I'll take the white. What would you say? Over the crystals, I would take the white. Exactly. Beater, but are they real crystals or <laughs> so, so <awesome. laughs> so awesome. crystals? Candy, did you ever go through that phase? Because I feel like it's a phase. 
Um, like the bad guy phase. Yeah. Like, well, I mean, not when you say bad, like. You know, like the rough neck phase. Like, a, like yeah, I like that. Like I, mean, yeah, I, I know all the time. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> they didn't try to fight me, though. No, no. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> like, okay, <laughs> just making sure we right. weren't talking about that type of rough. Mm-mm. Yeah, nah, um, of course. I mean, I think we all like dudes like that. They got mm-hmm. an edge to them. Right. I'm trying to tell her, like, I just need somebody that I feel like can protect me. Like, if something happens, mm-hmm. I feel I want my dude to be able to, like, stand up for him himself right and i just felt like you know with somebody like that it just you know i felt like i was gonna fight for him like because his know. curses was gonna be shining right. you know what, what if he's very <laughs> small but, what if he's very small but he knows karate <laughs> That's karate. weird though. Yeah, don't pull out the karate you. when we out. I'm done. I don't know. Yeah, that's, <laughs> like, that's not gonna get me wet if you come out chopping, yeah, trying to chop somebody. I don't know if y'all have seen some of these movies. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, Candy, welcome, and we know you have a lot going on right now. We were just talking about it. Like, how do you do everything that you're doing? You have a new EP. That you're working on. Oh, yeah, I'm working on it right, right now. Mm-hmm. And then you have the tour that you're doing. Yes. Welcome to the dungeon. Welcome yeah. to the dungeon. Yes. I went to the party. That shit was dope. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I went yeah. to the party. We did it um, back in October, and mm-hmm. now I'm turning it into a whole tour. Then you have three restaurants. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I do. Yeah, I of Atlanta. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on. Um, and you're married and a baby. Yeah. And Good. And do you still have your Lord. boutique? Yeah, I still yeah. have my store I used store to shop tag. there when I lived in Atlanta. Oh, thank you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, it's, you yeah. said trying to add more That's babies. A lot. Yeah, because um, we have a surrogate, yeah. and oh, okay, we're working on that. Yeah. That's oh, that's dope. it. I saw that episode when mm-hmm. <laughs> she was like, well, if you want to try to do it, nope. <laughs> <laughs> Not like that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no. Mm-mm. We did it the scientific way, I guess. All right. <laughs> So, you know, me and you had something in common because I there was a rumor about me that I had um, a sex slave in the basement. Are you what? serious? Yes. Did y'all see that? They had put it on um, Baller Alert. Really? You lying. So, you know how they used to do those anonymous um, emails oh, wow. in, like uh-huh. the sex stories? Yeah, yeah, So yeah. somebody was like, you know, I'm Angela's um, sex slave and she keeps me in the basement. That's so weird. They wanted to be your sex exactly. slave. Exactly. Exactly. I was That's like, okay. They really <laughs> for me. Deep. To, yeah. I think I, sometimes people be going way too too far with some of these like rumors so they try to start. It's crazy. Too. And I was like, okay, me and Candy both got a dungeon. Hey, man. <laughs> but you know what? At first I was like all angry about it. But then, you know, after I thought like about it, I was going to embrace it. Turn it into a exactly. coin, you know? Yeah. But um, yeah, and then if I'm going to make a dungeon, it's going to be the best damn dungeon right. you've ever seen. That's right. what I'm talking about. My sex slaves don't really want all that glitz and glamour, though. He's yeah. <laughs> There's no bathroom no down there. When you had it in <laughs> no Atlanta, crystals. though, when I tell you it was the talk of town, like, yeah. everybody in the mall was, like, trying to get the Brian, shit. Like, they every, outfits. she shut down the city doing, everybody and went it, to the, the shit. the tickets sold yeah. out really fast, too, right? Yeah, they did. And yeah. it's crazy because, it's like, I didn't know if everybody was going to dress up and, you know, because it's supposed to be one of those situations, I guess, kind of like Coachella, where everybody has to dress up right. and mm-hmm. wear the crazy outfits. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And when I tell you, damn near everybody in the place had on a dungeon outfit. Like, yeah, mm-hmm. I wasn't trying to do too much. I was like a little. When I got there, people was going all oh, out. out. You was like, like I'm under dress. Yeah. You <laughs> yes. know, I had a coat over. I had the lingerie. And I had the coat over. When you I was like, like take this off. Right. Yeah, I Come was like, okay. <laughs> okay, it's safe. It's safe. Right. It's safe. Yeah. yeah. So everybody had a like lingerie, yeah. crazy stuff, like, fashion over lingerie. People so had whips and I mean, yeah, leather and exactly masks. I mean, I wasn't Everything. there. I just saw it from you, you know something. online and for yeah. on the show. Like some girls, they probably had on like nipple covers with a meat coat, or you know, just like going all out for it. I mean, there were some guys, obviously, you and know, guys jeans and white beaters, the guys yeah. that JoJo no, like. Right. They more so were like, <laughs> they tried to do like the Hugh Hefner yeah, with, the, with, you know, the, the rope. Oh, that, that, that yeah. makes sense. Yeah. That's easy. Yeah. yeah. But, um, and it was people with full mask on and it was, that shit was lit. and the crazy thing about it was it, that a lot of people really didn't even know what it was or what to expect. Yeah. Like it was a big question mark of, I'm, I don't know what this is, but it's about to be crazy. And I got to be there. So is this what the whole tour is going to be like starting in yeah. May? Yeah. Um, basically we doing 12 cities. And so basically the same thing I did in Atlanta, mm-hmm. um, I'm just taking it to different cities. It's going to be 
extremely we taking it to pushing the limits as far as we can push it you know what I mean without getting arrested yeah you said you held back a little so bit girl, we need to do this at hedonism it's, it's not why they take the phone to the front <laughs> yeah I was like don't take my phone I have a company that takes everybody well, they, oh you put it in the bag in the, the bag, bag. Yeah. right mm-hmm. because you know if people come you some people don't want yeah they don't right. want everybody that, putting oh, the phone online sense. I was mad because so. I couldn't get my selfie in I was uh, like you gotta do it outside they should probably have a selfie area out front Yeah, and then when you close the bag and go in yeah I'll have like a photo booth if I think people you want to take that. Yeah. Yeah. email it but yeah. like it's gonna I'm gonna take celebrity guests and we're gonna like do our thing and then it's like some erotic you know performers and it's very like sexual it's like at first when it starts it's a big ass party right and then we have like a variety show so maybe I might do something with dances but everybody's barely clothed so how is I mean? that for the men Cause you got a ton of men in there, and then women that are barely clothed. Like, is there a dick? They were are they dicks it. hard yeah, they all night. Like, they should have mm. the dick sock on. There was a lot of gay boys in there. <laughs> it was you a mixture. I mean? It was a lot of straight men too. Because it, was, it was couples. Yeah, up in it there. was really dark yeah. in there. I could barely see. I felt like it, it was, was sexy. every. Yeah. It was everybody that that you know. It, it was no type of like set crowd you mm-hmm. know what I mean everybody was in there so it was just which I thought was cool because I was like how many places do you normally go where it's not like oh it's only this type of, this type of person right. or this type of person everybody was That's in good. there I think everybody was, was having hookups. fun I think it was I heard it was somebody that it might be some dungeon babies and lobby. that's what I'm saying like, it, sure might some, it might be some dungeon babies I'm sure about there's a lot of men that walk up around there with months. their dicks hard right you know what I mean some guys try to on themselves we had the grapefruit lady there she be giving oral sex Instructions, you know, it was be a pole she dance, oral sex, sex right? <laughs> In the no, lobby. she wasn't giving oral sex. That would have been was crazy. Giving people lessons on how they supposed to do it with it grapefruit. Dope. Do you remember yeah. the first time you learned how to um, perform oral sex? Uh yeah, because I learned how to do it from reading a magazine article. From a magazine, really? Yes, I, I learned Kassim. from watching porn. Me too. Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah. Were yeah. you good at it the first time? Um, I don't think I was good at it the first time but you know you watch a couple more and then be like okay you get it. and then you practice makes perfect yeah. Yeah. and your friends some tell you some stuff little tips yeah. here and there right? yeah. I feel like I was going to do it the first time I ever did it I didn't know what I was doing I told you I scraped his whole dick up <laughs> but <laughs> ouch I he, yeah I know he showered like ah I think the thing is how long did it take you to get good at it but though? then I read right. the article that's what really helped me is I read an article have you ever had a guy be terrible at oral hell yeah, yeah. of course mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. guys definitely have to be like coached through that mm-hmm. yeah I definitely no, I had, had to dude. teach a guy a time or two me too mm-hmm. I had to, yeah. this dude he was like gnawing on my shit like, how why are you on my shit yeah. Yeah. like don't why bite you in my face <laughs> but apparently some girls Women like that, that when mm-hmm. they nibble with their teeth I don't, I don't like that I, I think it also depends on how aggressive right like if you feel like you bite in my clit it's like all right and yeah. some guys think when you tense up, you like it, but you really like tense. Trying to go out <laughs> away, you know, right. I went ahead and told him, and I think I did him a service because I've heard since then that he's like Damn. a bum at it. So I was like, okay, well, yes, maybe I helped him out. <laughs> but men do that too, right? Like they'll tell you a How little less like a teeth or, yeah. Has anybody ever? I've told never me? had a guy tell me like, I feel like oh, your teeth are in the way. Yeah, I've never had like, a guy like, suck it. I don't care if it hurt. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> I feel yeah, because oh. I don't think I've ever had a guy tell me like you're doing it wrong. He didn't even tell me. Hmm. But I feel hmm. like you would know if. You scraping him too hard with your teeth? No, I'm just saying the first time I did that. Really yeah, the first time, first time. Yeah, yeah. Had he said something to you. No. So how you know you scraped it? Because I, when I learned how to do it, I realized my mouth was dry as shit. Oh, he probably didn't even know boo. how to get his dick sucked <laughs> he, he should have broke up boo. with me but I didn't know how to do it and look I was still a virgin and so I wouldn't have sex with him so, so all you, that was, no was just me like bit. compromising right, right? but uh, I didn't know how to do that either I, th- I was in high school so yeah. I didn't know what the fuck I was doing and I learned. Well, I feel like it, my advice to anybody in oral sex, do it like you love it. Yes. Like, yeah. no matter what, just act like you right. love it. Mm-hmm. So even if you don't know what you're doing, if you like, you know, suck it like you love it, like you kiss, you know, the same way you kiss when you, you love somebody. It, right? Passionate. Mm-hmm. Yeah, passionate real with passionate with it. It like turns them on to see them even like, if you ain't like good at it, love with They it. ain't even going to know that you ain't good with it because they're going to be blinded by the passion that you're giving yeah. them. I feel like the Jedi mind trick. I feel like if I'm giving you or if I'm sucking your dick, I'm going to be passionate about 
about it because I enjoy giving you Me pleasure. Too, yeah. So yeah. I'm gonna like mm-hmm. give you that shit. You gotta like, make noise. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Some people aren't play with your pussy like too that, at the same though. time. Yeah, you know what? You can't never look like a blowjob is a job. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're like, like a chore. We're not like <laughs> right. You ain't done it yet. No, you be mad. Uh, and your jaw no. hurt. Yeah, no. And you sometimes gotta, you gotta stop and be like, want to do it. <laughs> no, now to me, I think that's a problem though. When a guy is like purposely trying to not last to long. not, so they can last forever. Yeah. Like yeah. if you locked y'all, like come mm-hmm. on, yeah, yeah, that's rude. That's fucked up. Or yeah. if you like, you know, doing it, and they be trying to smash it. Yes. Oh my god! Like, or when really they nice. try to like stick their dick so deep in your throat that shit hurt, and you be like, yo, relax, relax. relax. Yes. You gonna make me bite you? Yeah, <laughs> or throw up. Or throw up. Before Gigi, you got to mm-hmm. feel that. You got to swallow it yeah, right back up. Yeah, I swallowed up. it right back up. Now, yeah, what? <laughs> oh, yeah. God. I mean, you're not going to throw up on I mean, it wasn't right? like food or anything. Yeah, it, was it was like, like a lot of saliva. Yeah. Oh, right yeah, because right. sometimes Some when girls just they, let that mucus, like when it's just saliva, mucus. they let that go. <laughs> no, but like when a guy pushes your head too deep sometimes and you feel it, you got... Like the reflex, the gag reflex. Yeah. Bring it back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's, uh, sounds like torture to me. <laughs> Yeah. All right, now we're going to play a little game. Ladies, JoJo and Candy, what would you do? We're going to give you a scenario and you tell oh us God. what would you do in this scenario. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't even you know, know what, what I said. Listen, into. you know what I said when we said we were going to play this game? I said, oh, this is going to be fun with Candy because y'all know she a little hood. <laughs> <laughs> she, she got that little bit of hood in her. All it's right. going to be fun. You're about to have sex and he pulls a bullet out of the drawer. You know the bullet. Oh, that's the best, but I don't want it to be somebody else's bullet. Exactly. I'm like, who else did you right. use it on? So he pulls it out the drawer. It's not in any packaging. Do you oh, flow with it nah. or do you tell him, ah, <laughs> no. I'm good. No. Yeah, nah. I'll pass. Who you no. been using that on? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How long you yeah. had that? Have and you why? watched it? Yeah, no. Yeah. Why do you have it? No. Mm-mm. Yeah, no. So when you get a new partner, you have to buy new sex toys. Yes. Of course. Yeah. No? I mean, yeah. if. If it, he's got it, like right. if it's my sex toy, mm-hmm. I know it's only been used on me. Maybe not. What if he has a <laughs> what if he has a cock ring, right? And you, he pulls a cock ring out. No, listen. It'll still be a little I, need, I, need our, I need our sex toys that to we're going new. to enjoy together to be fresh out the pack. Yeah. Oh, we need to, yeah. need to buy them together. It's like or to the they club. need to be my fresh out the pack. Exactly. The my bottle yeah. need to be fresh with the seal. Uh, I need my cock ring with the seal on exactly. it. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, nah. So yeah, what we say? You would tell him no. Yeah. Yeah, no. I'm cool on it. Yeah, I don't. And I would feel disrespected that you even trying to. I agree, though. I would feel some type of way about it. Yeah, like, why are you trying to play me like that? Yeah. I mean, maybe. Would that ruin the moment, though? Would you stop? Yes, and be absolutely. Like, Why? I don't yes. give a shit. Yes. Yeah, yeah I, I would be bothered by that. Yeah. I'm like, how you just so? How you just have it in the nightstand? You just been using that on yeah. everybody. Like, what is the? Uh, I mean, it's a bullet, so it's not like he's using it on himself. Now, what so. about lingerie though? Do we buy new lingerie for a guy, or can we use the same lingerie we new been using? lingerie? <laughs> That's not no. That's what's not the same. That's not the same. Do you think about what's that? The lingerie? I like, like y'all just bought new lingerie for everybody. <laughs> Shit, I know. Now, I'm married I don't now, even but wear yeah, I'm past. prior to marriage. Uh-huh. I mean, come on. I wasn't buying new stuff for everybody. You know, mm-hmm. so you, know, you, you, know you got that one fit that says, you get them, girl, you're going to put that on? Right. Put that on. <laughs> I've been using this fit since 2000. <laughs> it worked work every work time. Work <laughs> Let me pull out the garter with the attachment and the little stockings. And, okay. Mm-hmm. They love that every time. All right, so we don't buy new lingerie. Sorry, no. guys. <laughs> Rothy's are the everyday flats for life on the go. You know I'm always running from place to place and it's so convenient for me to have my Rothy's on because they're comfortable and they're super stylish. They're available in a wide range of colors and patterns as well as four different silhouettes. Rothy's go with everything from yoga pants to dresses and skirts. Plus, they're constantly launching new styles so you're guaranteed to find a pair or maybe three pairs that you love. Best of all, since Rothy's are seamlessly crafted from recycled water bottles, they're ultra comfortable as soon as you slip them on. And Rothy's has diverted over 25 million water bottles from land. Feels. Right now, Rothy's has an amazing deal for my listeners. Use the code SERVICE to get free shipping with no minimum. That's free shipping and free returns or exchanges on your Rothy's shoe when you go to rothys.com. That's R-O-T-H-Y-S dot com and enter SERVICE to get your new favorite flats and free shipping. Once you try shoes that are comfortable, stylish, and sustainable, you're never going to wear anything else. Head to rothys.com and claim this offer with code SERVICE. All right, now, what would you do? He came way too fast. Do you have an attitude? Do you try to get it back up, even though it takes a while? Or do you just say, fuck it and go to sleep? I was just telling the story earlier. I did a whole freestyle on this dude. 
why, when he came like in two seconds I died laughing and then I embarrassed him like dude like I can his dick would never get hard again <laughs> no I, he had to laugh what did you with say? me I mean I was freestyling I don't know what I said I was just mm. making it up as I went along That's I was hilarious. having fun with yeah. it because he wrote a whole song he, about like, it right? laughing, wrote a song about like, it because he was up. supposed to be like <laughs> he, was he had a, shit, a right? great <laughs> reputation about himself mm. like everybody was like, like gotcha. he was just amazing or whatever and, and then when he got so there for that to happen that can't decode it exactly they can't yeah. code it right. Like, like, he was yeah. like anticipating it, so I don't know if I was we supposed fucking to be again. impressed. Mm-hmm. We fucking again. I'm not going to sleep. That's I give you a little couple minutes to sure, I'm going get to yourself sleep. together. You going to sleep? <laughs> yeah. Nah. It's mad Two as hell. Minutes? It depends on how bad I wanted it. How bad you wanted it, how tired you yeah. are. I agree. It depends on the day. Like yeah. if I wanted if it real drunk, bad and it was so quick, then yeah. we got to start over. Hit like, yeah. like if he's talking, all but this if it was just talk. one of them nights where it was just you know, right. all right, whatever, I can live without it. Then I'm gonna just go. To yeah, sleep. like right. if I'm horny, but you talking I'm gonna all feel that accomplished talk. because anytime a guy come fast, I feel like it was because my shit was just exactly hey. pussy too good. So you know? is that really why guys come too fast, or is it because it? I mean, I get sometimes it is anticipation; they're excited. But if you've been with him for a long time, is it that, or is it that he just comes fast? Yeah. If he's sometimes. always coming fast, then he always comes fast. Mm-hmm. But there's some times where maybe you haven't seen him in a while. He's been missing that pussy. Your mm-hmm. shit's a little wetter than it was last time. <laughs> and he comes so quick. I mean, that's a different story. Like, I mean, if it's not your first time, obviously, and you know he's right. good for it. But you don't, don't got to give him a maybe, freestyle. I think in that situation, <laughs> I just didn't feel like wasting my time. Mm-hmm. It's like, okay, you really wasn't. He got what off I expected then. you to be. Right. <laughs> so is that like a, okay, it was our first time. I'll never do it again with you. Yeah, I never did it again with him. Damn. Mm. <laughs> Can't even get yeah. a... Right. Oh, yeah. yeah, it was no a remix to the freestyle. Yeah, you know, that's no. fucked up because we can come fast and it doesn't matter. But when a guy comes fast, party over for a second. Well, I feel like if a man can make a woman come fast, then he's amazing because most women don't come mm-hmm. fast. Right at all. Yep. Yeah. Have you ever had a guy make you come fast? And it was amazing. Like, damn, how do you do that? Just straight from the dick or from mm-hmm. oral? Because like to me, I you come know, easier from oral. Right, I mean, yeah, I mean, from that, yeah, mm-hmm. but so it takes longer if he hasn't eaten it first. But what's come fast for a woman? Like, for you, like, let's just say, damn, I didn't expect to come so fast. But what's fast? Like, for you, what do you think as a woman coming fast, like, in five for me, minutes? Yeah, minutes? like, five minutes is fast. Yeah, five minutes. Five minutes is super for a guy fast. and sex is a long time for yeah. him. <laughs> for him. <laughs> Three like, minutes and he already long. coming, right. <laughs> yeah, five minutes, he think he was in that thing for 30 minutes. Yeah. No, that was only five. <laughs> I think I could come off head quicker than I could being penetrated, but it does take me a while to come. Mm-hmm. That's just me. I used to be able to come off of just, um, what do you call it? Fingering. Mm. Really? Yeah. You never came from getting fingered? Mm-mm. Now, I haven't been fingered in a Maybe while, so I don't know what that's like anymore. I think I might have when I was like, when I was younger. Really young. And yeah. In the movie theater. In the movie theater. <laughs> 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 getting finger popped in the movie theater. I got my hood nigga boyfriend. But my mom thought I was at um, cheerleading practice. Hook him up with JoJo. Fuck <laughs> 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 you. I'm done with y'all. You know what? So next year I'm going to show up. Next year. Oh, she going to have her. Yes, every year I come back. We over in here, March. You know right. Okay, now what would you do? You're in March. You're in bed with somebody. You've had a long, hard day, right? And you've been around other people all day and you call your man the wrong name by accident. <gasps> but it wasn't because you were really thinking about somebody else. It's just you had a lot going on during that day. Maybe you were thinking about somebody you have to be in the studio with, da 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 da. And you, it just lips out because you just. That's say never that. happened to yeah, me. Yeah, that's never happened to me. That's me awkward. Either. That well, is. Well, you know why I know why I think that would never happen to me? Because I don't ever call him by his name unless you I'm say mad baby. at him. I say, babe, yeah. You just so. call everybody, babe. Fuck it. Mm. <laughs> I feel hey, you. Hey, babe. Yeah, that's awkward. Yeah. That's well. never happened to me. But I do. <laughs> I do like, that. I've thought about that. <laughs> I've thought about that before. But that. I was like, bro, if that ever slips, that would be bad. Yeah. That's yeah. bad. Like, what can you do in a it's situation like, like that? Has it, anybody ever called you the wrong name? Exactly. No. Mm-mm. I would get up. I, I would so. be pissed. I definitely called somebody the wrong name once, but I was drunk. <laughs> oh, that's God. different you during <laughs> sex you called him the wrong name I during definitely sex. did and I Ooh, didn't realize it till the next day I was thinking about it I was like oh shit I'll call him during sex he didn't say or do you? anything he didn't say nothing he probably was in his you? stroke like who the hell is it Brian? was a rough <laughs> night though because we were very drunk that was the same night I lost my tampon and I wait, lost wait. the tampon night yeah wait how you lose your tampon <laughs> You got to explain this. No. So I thought, okay, so I had my period and I woke up in the morning and I was like, I had sex. And then I was like, 
where's my tampon? And so he went looking for it. I looked for it. <laughs> I thought it was like stuck in me. So I went to the doctor. But they said I must have took it out. I don't know what happened. So it's still missing. Oh, wait. It's still in me, no. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> were, were you at his so house? Wait, y'all, was in a, y'all was in a serious relationship or something? No, so he so was. So you let him knock it down. Well, no, no, he was somebody I had dealt with when I was younger, oh, okay. and then it was like a revisiting of the situation. So we knew each other for like year, for like ten years. So and you so we had you sex gave again. him a heads up that it was. It was gonna be a little, a little messy. A little messy. I don't think I did. I was drunk. Oh, but I God. feel like if you guys were both, if you guys were both drunk and you don't remember the tampon, then he probably doesn't don't remember, remember the other name. name. Exactly. Exactly. He don't remember the other yeah. name. Exactly. Yeah. Find it. No, the name thing. Like he yeah. didn't probably remember. He didn't the name even too. care. Yeah, he, he probably, probably didn't even. Drunk. It he went probably over his didn't head. Hear, yeah, he but probably, probably found awkward. that tampon up under the bed. Oh, cruddy. It <laughs> balled up. It yeah, now how often does that happen, though? You right. know all those times when you started having sex while you're on your period and then the I tampon? had a guy pull my tampon out before. <laughs> you oh, did? Yeah. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. nah. He only loves you. I don't even want you to see my tampon. Like. Yeah, he pulled it out. Mm-mm. Nah, my homegirl was telling me that she had hooked up. She was hooking up with this one guy, right? And she was like, no, I'm on my period. He's like, I don't give a fuck. Pulled out the um tampon and ate Sheesh. her out. Okay, he period. didn't do all that. that. I had somebody he ate me with period. the tampon period? in. Yeah. See, now that's crazy. He, oh, ate, he ate my pussy yeah. with the tampon in and yes. then pulled the tampon out. They so don't have, have to sex. put their fake, their tongue in the in hole. hole. Right. They just at, at the, the top. top. At the top. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes exactly. it's What if a clot falls down? Well, jeez. Does it depend on how heavy your period is? It has to depend on that. Well, I think when you're like in the mood, it's got to like Yeah, just like when you get in the shower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It kind of like holds back a little bit. It holds back. Yeah. Here be like, hold on, she getting something. <laughs> right, right, right. I ain't gonna come out just yet. That's what he said. He's like, like, I ain't never been through that. You have? No. no. You never had sex in your period? No, I have. Okay. I have. Ne- n- nobody has ever aimed me out on my period. Yeah, okay. me either. I've had that ever. a couple times. Yeah, I had a guy. He just did not care. Wow. But only, only even when I came with my tampon, just did not care. Yeah. Really? Yeah. You said what? I said a guy's only ate me out on my period with a tampon in. Yeah. Like around that part. I've had all these nasty guys in here like yep. What's that? I've had them to eat me out with with or without it. Sheesh. I've never had that. Really? I've never had anybody eat my pussy on my period. Oh, yeah. I'm always period. I've had sex on and my you period. Know how, but you know right. how horny you are on your period? Yeah. Yeah, you should try it. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've, I've never had a guy say like, oh yeah, let me still eat your pussy. Yeah. Like they'll say, let's fuck, but never like, let me eat your pussy on your period. Is that something you would say to They don't necessarily or say it. They just do, do it. it. Mm. Mm. There's a lot of things I think that work better if you don't say it. If in you the don't bedroom. say it. You just kind of have to like, Cause me, yeah, I'd be like, yo, yeah, hold on, my period. Right. But do they know you on your period, or they just go down and you like? Yeah, oh, they I gotta, know. Yeah, I've never had a guy even. <laughs> you, can't, attempt. you can't ask a guy certain things like you can't be like, let me put my finger in your butt. You gotta just right. do it. You have to just do it. Oh no, I, don't, I ain't sticking my finger in no no dude's butt. I'm sorry. No, I'm surprised yeah. that you, Candy. I look at you as somebody with. A I know everybody dungeon. thinks I've done everything. <laughs> I'm, I'm not like, sticking <laughs> fingers in nobody's butt. Why? I don't want shit on my finger. I'm sorry. Uh, well, maybe what if he had a colonoscopy? Is that what it's called? Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, yeah, I, don't want, I don't want my finger. What if he's on a good diet? <laughs> <laughs> so wait, am I the only one that's never stuck so, well, a finger? So I know, I know, I know, I know, no, 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 never done it. I've done but it. I, so, uh, you said somebody, it like you did it plenty no, of times. Time. But has somebody asked you? <laughs> no, nobody's ever asked me. Yeah, somebody has asked me before and I didn't do it. All the good. guys Damn. I've dated, they like, I don't want nothing close to my ass. A lot of guys I'm playing with you. <laughs> he's a rapper, but he's not loving him out. A uh, rapper asked you to yeah. play the thing? Damn, he must have really trusted you. Yeah. Did you do it? No. Why? But it made me think at the back of my head. I was like, does he like boys? How do you- <laughs> no, How he, he doesn't you? like boys. That's huh? where his How G spot is at. You? Okay, well, let me say this. You know, seeing as though I have a sex toy line, that is the new thing. We have toys actually for the male prostate. You know, yes, like I'm pulling up. Listen, I'm yeah, pulling up. Yeah, so there are right a now. lot of people who like to... Um, do male penetration and they're mm-hmm. not gay apparently yeah i'm just saying and i'm not Anything? against somebody you what? know whatever i'm just saying i personally mm-hmm. haven't done, done mm-hmm. that you know what i mean i've never so. done it but don't you test all your toys i don't test all don't of them <laughs> <laughs> i test a lot so of them but i don't test so all if of somebody them. asked you you would say no you say if if, if, a guy, if you're having oh, sex right now she's bad okay, yeah. yeah. right right let's say if todd asked you <laughs> 
Just Tell me that would you, would you would you stop said, and be if like, I wasn't married and I was still yeah, dating or whatever? Right. Would I do? Would I? If they asked you, mm-hmm. let's say you're in the middle of fucking. And let's say asked, they were like, let's that's what happened to me. I was in the middle. I was like, wait, uh, what? It would throw me off. How did he say it? She was like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Put your finger in my ass. I was like, wow. Hold on. That would throw me off. But so I that threw me off a little bit. I, I do like, know chicks that do that. Yeah. yeah. And he asked nice Gigi. and Gigi. Gigi. Like, <laughs> Gigi. Yo, yo, you I'm going to do it. But, but is it, <laughs> you, wait, okay, so let me ask you this because I've asked my friend this before. Do you just go on and do it without asking him or you, you give him warning? You kind of, you kind of like inch towards it and see if they are receptive of it and then you kind of lead off of like body language like if he's if he like goes for the nudge or if he like moves his balls out the way to let you get there then that's a sign like he's I'm like, with the shit yeah. no pun is that also a sign but, that they've done it before fact. it's a sign that they may have done it before if right. they know that they like it no but listen have you ever done it and then they were like what the fuck like have you just went for yeah. it and they ever just like no got but back? I had somebody kind of like act like they didn't really want me to do it but they did but they did they, they, but they liked it but they was kind of like uh, and they made a noise and then that eventually, went like this <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> but eventually they started letting me do it yeah. see cause that's how I feel if I've ever tried it with any guy I've dated I feel like they'd be like what the fuck is you doing but you and never it'll get awkward it. you know mm. what I mean like you haven't well, tried it you I tried know it. people that's out there sticking whole toys in dudes booties mm. yes and you have a line just for that so let's go, <laughs> there <you> go. <laughs> why not stick with it <laughs> Fact. yeah it, it, it goes down apparently but you like what about on you no, I don't want them sticking theirs in my booty either. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, I'm just like, that's just not my thing. But if right. I'm not against it, have right. you tried people, it? Though? I don't judge nobody else. Have I'm, you tried it to know you don't I like it? I tried it one time in my life, and mm-hmm. it felt like an enema. Right. I was mm-hmm. like, I never want right, to do this yeah. again. If it made mm-hmm. me feel like, but I if had a guy asked you, immediately. would you <laughs> automatically think like he has fucked a guy before? No. If he actually, well, put, not, it, yeah. Would that? Would you no. have any type of thought no. like, oh? You know, I mean, I just think like, oh, he's kind of freaky. I mean, but I mean, I wouldn't automatically assume that it. wouldn't be your first assumption if if they wanted you to stick their yeah. finger in the boot. Yeah, I wouldn't make that my first assumption because actually, a male G spot is right. Is you might in, just like it. Is you reach it from? So why that most area. guys don't don't want it? Because they feel because weird. they feel the that it's too um, gay. Yeah, yeah because the that's the whole you right. know people. That's all people always put out there that oh, right. if you want to right. touch your booty, you gay. And right. they're scared I mean, they're so. gonna love it. They yeah. do love it. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, I would think oh. you a freak if you ask me. Like that's the first thing you're thinking. Yeah, I'm like, oh, okay. He he likes to try things. Okay. See, I've never been asked to do it like they don't say like yeah. can you well, lick my butt or can you I'm not licking taking that. shit now listen let's be clear <laughs> licking the ass is, is totally different to me <laughs> okay. than sticking I mean but sometimes in. that's the start like sometimes yeah, like a tongue he like a finger I'm talking it. about that's how I get that's there not true. that's how I sometimes that's I that's get there from your finger is way finger. longer than my tongue I didn't give you like a tongue he like a finger would you rather my finger is not as soft as my tongue so would you rather eat a guy's ass or finger him I'd rather eat his ass Yeah, me too. Yeah. yeah How about you, Yeah, Jim? I'd rather eat it than finger him, but I, the cherry on the Sunday is when I get to do both. It's like wait, an wait, empowerment what? thing. The cherry on the Sunday. Listen, <laughs> <laughs> if I can do both. Why would you have Cherios <laughs> yeah. on your Sunday? The cherry on the <laughs> Sunday, like the cherry oh, on the, the cherry, Sunday. Cherry. The cherry. Not Cherios. <laughs> Philly Not asking cereal. for food. Not cereal. <laughs> no, like, okay. I'm I'm going to be, you know, with my mouth and I'm and I'm there. And if I can stick the finger, like if I can go the next step and get the finger there too, like bingo. Okay, this is my question. <laughs> Have you ever had shit come out no. of your finger? No. <laughs> First of all, I'm not going me, that far. Okay, yeah, wait, 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 wait. I'm not sticking my entire finger up there. Yeah, okay, it's just so like this much of your finger. Just to massage butt. that one what spot. What happens if your nails are this long? Okay, I don't wear nails. Oh. But what happens? Yeah. I don't know. I don't you wear nails. I haven't worn nails since I was 15 years old. It's not the move. I don't think so either. But let's be clear for the people listening and everybody in the room. It's not the entire finger. It's about up to that one little first line, like that part. And it's because when you go in there, it's a little ridge and a little... Is that's the spot? You like so if a, you get um, in there and you can massage expert. that spot, yeah, they go insane. <laughs> I'm telling you what happens. If you push it, you're not just like freak. That's right. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's I a, know that it's, it's, it. it's a hook. You got to hook yeah, it. It's a, <laughs> how did you uh, initially say I'm gonna go and stick my finger up his ass? Like what? What was? What started? 
the way he was busting it open for me to goddamn put my tongue in there. I felt like, let me see if I can poke it too. Oh, okay. That nigga was busting it open. But I feel like he was implying, like, keep going. Yeah, that's what. She likes when guys are on all fours. When you, yeah, she likes for guys to be on all fours. When he busts it open for real. That's busting it open. She do like it. She said it feel powerful. It, it's so powerful to have a man in that position. Mm-hmm. Oh my god! And it's great if he's on all fours and then he look back at you. Like, <laughs> okay. wow. I haven't had nobody look back. You know, Angela like to start shit. No, I haven't well, had nobody look back. We was talking about. Have you ever stuck a toy in a man? No. Oh, no, I, I haven't. I haven't. But, but you should, somebody asked Candy me. Has some somebody <laughs> asked me to years ago, and I just wasn't to that level of my freakness yet. Did he so, have so yeah. it? No, not no. Years ago, somebody asked me to. Like, I want you. Wait, to, I want to ask you this question. What's the freakiest thing you've ever done? Kill someone. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, I guess like, somebody um, on. I didn't say I guess like, like, freaky. Uh, five got five girls and one guy. Five like, girls all, and one guy. Is that everybody. Right? Five, six people in one bed? That's not freaky? Not in Atlanta. That's a lot. I wasn't in Atlanta, <laughs> first of all. You're not in Atlanta? <laughs> I don't know. What y'all, what y'all gotta get in Atlanta. That's a Tuesday up. night in Atlanta. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, whatever. I think, having, I think having a guy on all fours is pretty freaky. And well, she yeah. sucks his dick from the back. From the, yeah. That's normal. So, dick Isn't balls and so asshole dick all from the back, one that's swipe. That's like you pull all the nerves down to the bottom when you do it. I've been told. I've been so that's true. True. But is he on an all awesome fours? thing to do? You <laughs> should on try all fours, it. <laughs> Suck a dick from the back on all fours. I never know. Is he on dick all from the back. Suck a dick you. from the back. Ooh, yes. Or what if he has his legs tight together while you suck it from the back? Yes. And then and the this, friction. Mm. Well, first of all, if you ever tried to, right? Explain, teach us. Like if a guy's <laughs> laying down, let's say he's laying down, mm-hmm. and you just come up from behind and pull it down, and just like mm-hmm. put your face. He's automatically, if he's one of those guys that don't come from near my mm-hmm. ass, he's automatically gonna try to squeeze his leg together. You guys just keep, keep going keep going <laughs> and then he's gonna just it go crazy cause it's gonna, gonna feel look, good yeah. you know what would be amazing at that point when you're doing that what to put one of your toys in his butt at the same time <laughs> yeah. can you squeeze imagine the double feel of that DP I can only imagine the double but, feel I, I don't know I think for me <laughs> it's not really the idea of you know emasculating him or anything like that I just feel like a lot of guys aren't clean I don't want to just stick my finger in their butt because I don't know what you're going to get out of there right <laughs> you okay know? I feel yeah. you on that I don't like things in my butt that's why I've never been into butt play mm-hmm. right yeah exactly that's it. Not, I agree. maybe if yep. I liked it for myself right. maybe I'd be more down but I don't want them returning the favor I still on have me but I feel like I'm the feeling that we get from it and the feeling that they get from it is totally different because we don't have that same anatomy we don't have that spot that there that's true mm-hmm. but a friend of mine um, told me that another way that you can like kind of tease that spot, it may not give them the same exact feeling, but okay. So we all, yeah, the taint. Like, mm-hmm. but if you like, as you're giving him head, if you take your finger and you rub and on press. the perineum, yeah. press mm-hmm. and like rub it while you giving him head, mm-hmm. he's still going to feel it. explode. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he's going to love it. And then, you know, worse coming worse, you stick your finger. That's the soft I mean, porn not your version. Finger, but stick your tongue in That's that. the soft porn version of getting there. Is, no. <laughs> is there anything that you haven't done that you want to do that you could think of? Like, I haven't tried this, but I've always wanted to. Maybe on our anniversary. I want to fuck on a plane. I, you know what? Oh, I've like always wanted to, Did you see that like, video on Instagram? take a boat out into the middle of the ocean where you only see water and fuck right there on the front of the boat. Mm-hmm. That's what that I nice. cool. Yeah. That's That'd be nice. Yeah, yeah. you yeah. can do that in Miami. Listen. Pugs. Don't you have done Pull up to the sand barge and <laughs> right. get it popping. Now, you ain't seen that video on Instagram? I seen 50 Cent posted it. What? You didn't see of the two people fucking in the plane like literally in the general seating you did not see that no I'm gonna send it to you tomorrow in the general seating they were in the last row did they get arrested is that like by the bathroom people were recording isn't that like like public indecency you get arrested for that were they drunk I'm gonna send it to all of y'all Please tomorrow. Send I'm gonna send it. Please send it. Send it to it. I'll be right. Thing, it was going like, to Europe. <laughs> oh, that's a long flight. Too. That's mm. a long flight. It was going they to Europe. They could hold that one. Two it. white people in the in the last row. Just fucking. Yeah. Why didn't you just go to the bathroom? Regular I mean, seating. The small, but everybody now, see, was. No, recording. I don't want to do that. Where they had a middle seat. BJ. They was um. They was in the window. Oh my god. In the window, like in the corner. In the corner, and that's the worst seat on the plane. The girl was on top of the guy. He was okay. just sitting that's, regular that's in the seat and the girl was on top. That's uncomfortable. And that's also embarrassing with people around. 
That's never mm, not necessarily. Some people like to be watched on the plane. No, thank though? you. But I don't want to. I don't want to eat. Like I have what she's having. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want those people. Why would I mean? Mm-hmm. You don't know them. But people are recording you. Yeah. They say everybody. I mean, they posted that. That shit was viral. I'm surprised you guys didn't and see why it. Why I think I did coach? too. I've never no, seen that. <laughs> <laughs> it was on the other road. <laughs> I don't then. know. I feel like they want it to be seen. Probably. Of I course. think people get off on people watching. <laughs> Some people do. I agree. I mean, have you ever been to a sex club? Like, mm-hmm. I've never been. No. I'm gonna come to your show though. What? Oh, it's, yeah. You should come to the performance, but we're that. not having actual sex. Some people did. 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 Some if you come to Atlanta, we should all go to Trapeze. Mm. So wait, you do, you watch, do you walk right? in and no, everybody no. should yeah, you watch? watch. Huh? You just watch people fucking? Yeah. You can, yeah. Mm. Or you could participate. Would that make it's you your horny? Show. Got you. Yeah. Would okay. that make you horny? It what they look like. It can. It can. Or you could just or you enjoy could be watching. Laughing. So you can yeah, just walk in laugh. because like, I want to join? These be regular, schmegular... Amy and, and Joseph's like they be regular people it don't be like sexy people or you know what I'm saying it just be like regular, regular like real sex yeah just be. like regular people so it's kind of like you're not going to be turned on so you're, but you're going with your partner so would you care if for example because it'd be a bunch of married people right mm, not all the time but like couples it could be uh, no it's not always couples no. um, basically like their rules are men can't come in alone so as long as they come in with a woman it doesn't right. have to be their girlfriend right. they can okay. come, you and know, as many can, women can be there as, as they you want, want. Right. right yeah so it's just a, you know I know people that go for birthday the first time I went it was one of my homegirls um, birthdays and she had like wanted a whole group of people to go so it was like a gang of us went and that's always What's weird yours? when you go <laughs> yeah. with a whole bunch of people that you know because nobody Everybody, really want to be too much of a friend you feel right. yeah. like all self conscious Mm-hmm. Until the night goes on, until and you have fine. some drinks, yeah, <laughs> somebody loosens up. Right. Yeah, it's weird when you go with too many people, you know. And then yeah. the next day, y'all gotta act like nothing happened. Right? right. No, what you doing today? Now nah, then, y'all call out, and she was right. like, "Uh, cause she be she said that white right. dick in the club." Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> First thing they gonna throw in your face. Hey, yeah, yeah. I'm you. That's true. Drop is a free app that gives out cash rewards to over three million members for the shopping they do every day. Just just link your debit and credit cards when you sign up, select the stores you shop with the most, and earn points every time you spend there. Redeem points for gift cards to places like Amazon, Sephora, Lululemon, and many more. Drop is incredibly easy to use. It works in the background to recognize when you make transactions at your selected stores, and it rewards you for those purchases. The experience is personalized so you can earn and redeem from brands that are entirely relevant to you and your preferences. Unlike most reward programs, you're able to earn across a number of brands. You'll accumulate points very quickly because the brands you're earning points from are the ones you literally spend with every day. For example, I look at my bank statement and I shake my head at how much I'm always spending on Lyft. Well, I could have been rolling in some free gift cards if I had started using the Drop app sooner, but thank goodness I'm up on it now. For a limited time, if you head to the App Store or Google Play and sign up for Drop using the code LIPSERVICE, you'll get a $10 Starbucks gift card right away. Make sure you link a debit or credit card to the app when you sign up to redeem your reward. All right, now let's just say you're with a guy, right? And he doesn't like to get too wild, but you want to loosen him up. What are some things that you can do? Because there's a lot of conservative guys out there, too, that Mm -hmm. don't necessarily want to experiment. They don't want to have fun. How can you get him to just experiment and try different things? Like maybe guys don't like to try toys sometimes. Sometimes they don't like to do things like talk during sex. They don't like to dress up. It's hard Mm -hmm. to get guys to want to do those things if they Mm -hmm. have a certain type of to pull them out vibe. of their comfort mm-hmm. comfort zone yeah um well and for me i mean i always tell people with the toy situation you never want to start with something big you want to mm-hmm. start with something small so like say for instance with bedroom candy we had like the little lipsticks or whatever mm-hmm. i have that yeah most guys <laughs> most guys are not going to be intimidated by that by lipstick, they're not right. going to feel like you're trying to replace them it's always the guys that want to be all extra macho is like what do you need that for right. well, you right. got me right. 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 you know so right. it's like that little lipstick mm-hmm. They think that's God, oh, that's cute, whatever. So you do something like you give him head one day and you have your toy while you playing with your clip while you doing it. Mm-hmm. He's going to get off on that. Like, yeah. you know, be all extra with it. Like yeah. you just so turned on while mm-hmm. you sucking his dick and playing with yourself. And then all of a sudden you put the vibration under his balls while you give him head. He's going to like it. OK. Mm-hmm. And then that's his first <laughs> yeah. introduction. Mm-hmm. And then after that, you, you can try something else yep. or either like let him eat you out while he's um, let him, you know, 
know, have the little lipstick on there because he's not going to feel weird right. about it. It's a lipstick. You got to show him right. it's not a bad thing. Yeah. Like, this is pleasure. When he see how you come so hard from him eating you and using that at the same time, he's going to be like, oh, okay, this is This is my cool. new friend. Yeah. <laughs> right. What about for uh, toys on guys? Like, how can we get them to want to be more cool about that? <laughs> I think the the rings are good. Mm-hmm. I guys. always hear how great the cock ring is, but mm-hmm. I don't know anybody who wants to use, like, guys are nervous about that. I think for me, I'm really vocal. Mm-hmm. Like, I'll tell you what I like, and mm-hmm. I'll tell you what I want to do to you, and I know mm-hmm. you're going to enjoy that. Go ahead, right. tell us, Avian. <laughs> yes. What sign are you? I'm a Virgo. I knew it. <laughs> tell, tell us what, tell her, pretend we're a guy. Okay. Right. Oh Tell us what you like. You look real quiet now. now. <laughs> It'd be the quiet nah, ones. I'm a Let's do another yeah. role play. Tell um, us the quiet like. one. <laughs> oh my gosh, you put me on the spot. Um, I don't know. It's like you like know. I like to talk during sex. Okay. So like if I'm riding you, I'm gonna ask you like you like this pussy. I'll tell you like this pussy's good and you know shit like that and like if you eat in my if, if you eat in my pussy I'm gonna tell you like yeah go down or like stick your finger I'm very vocal okay and I think like guys like that because they want to know how you like to get pleased and mm-hmm. then that turns them on so I think for me it's just having those conversations like if we talk about sex toys I would say hey have you tried this yeah that mm-hmm. makes me really wet you know and I think guys would enjoy it if it pleases knows that you this, you're being pleased yeah so it's it. just about easing them into. Like knowing that, hey, yeah. there's nothing wrong with this. It's just pleasure for me mm-hmm. and for you. Mm-hmm. And it'll be more open to it. But there are a lot of guys that are extremely conservative and I think it's more of a shy thing. Right. Mm-hmm. So Because they never tried it. I was, Sometimes I'd be like, who the hell did you date before me? Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> I'd like, be thinking that. I'm True. like, you know, basic sh- pussy you was fucking? Right. <laughs> they just be having regular old sex. Yeah. <laughs> That's boring. <laughs> All right, Jojo, what about you in the bedroom? Because we haven't really gotten into that. Oh, God, pick up me. What about it? So what do you like? Are you very vocal? I am, but I know I act crazy and y'all probably think that I'm like, I need somebody to be more aggressive with me. I'd be chilling. Mm-hmm. I'm more of the chill person. <laughs> they have to initiate. Yeah, like I need somebody real aggressive to be with me because I'm not the one to be like, let's try this. Let's do that. No, I need him to do that. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. And what if he doesn't? You've right. never taken charge? That's why, like, when it, I can't date, like, a guy that is just, like, I need somebody that's aggressive. If you're not aggressive, it's not going to work out. But what if he is aggressive, but his last partner wasn't that interesting in the bed, so he doesn't really no. know any, like, new skills or, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? Because there are guys like that that ha- could have a big dick and they have not a good stroke with it. but Ugh, all the girls the that worst. they have sex with were kind of <laughs> whack. Yeah, and a lot of guys with big dicks ain't really that great at using them. And that's, that's the true. worst. I and I have a medium dick or a smaller that, that can, can use, use it yeah. than a big ass dick. Because it's, it's like, like a waste. My mom always said, I'd rather be tickled than stabbed. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is true. true. That is but true. you know what? Oh my my thing is, I feel like, you know, some guys don't realize that all women aren't the same. Yeah. That the same trick doesn't work on That's every right. woman. So personally, I feel like if a woman doesn't speak up or let it be known what she wants, then a lot of times you'll end up not being pleased. Mm-hmm. And you'll just right. end up having sex just yeah. to please him. Him right. and not to please yourself. Because a lot of right. guys think fun. that just penetrating you is pleasing you, and no. that's not really the case all the time. No. Yeah. <laughs> what do y'all think about during sex? Do you really just focus on what's happening right then and there, or do y'all be thinking about other things? I had to think of a real freaky situation. Mm-hmm. I like, you know, in my head, it's like a whole bunch of freaky ass shit going on. <laughs> really? If, During sex? If, even if, if it's just a, just a plain, if there's a regular moment, like a quickie, it's just like I have to have like a freak porno movie going on in my head. That's because you're a creative. Is that what it is? I think so. <laughs> you probably, so you think about like, you think about porns you've watched or things that have happened in the past or things that you. Yeah, or just a freaky situation mm-hmm. that, you know, maybe I heard or that I want to try. <laughs> like, give us an example of what's a freaky situation. Oh, well, shit. She just said she had five people in the room. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> She's <laughs> thinking about that. That is <laughs> crazy. People. I'm like, okay, five let girls. me see. Imagine in my head who the six would be. Damn. <laughs> but yeah, it would be like Damn. some crazy shit going on. Jeezy, who. Okay, so when you did that situation, right? How did it that was happen? so random. <laughs> 
started. It was so random. It was so random. Who initiated? So it was this guy that was just like he was so cool with with all of us, and that we used to call him girlfriend. Like that was his code name, mm-hmm. like nickname girlfriend, because he was just like one of the girls. Mm-hmm. And he was a ho- guy. Like everything about him was guy, but it was just he was squad. Like he just be around all the time. He was just a homie. And one night we was just all out drinking, and then we went back to the house to like smoke and chill or whatever. And then one person started popping off in the corner, two girls, and then it just everybody so, just. How did okay, it get so to wait, six? You and, because we were all just chilling. Right. But had you and your girls had sex together before or something? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, see, that's. Had anyone had sex down. with him? In the, yeah. in the no, movie. he was like none of us had ever had sex with him. But he was. He kept trying to talk to my one friend, and she was just like, "He too cool with all of y'all. Like, I don't want to." You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I, he y'all homeboy. Like, I don't want to date him. So how would he people... kept all night, all night trying to get at this one girl. So and how you started? Two of my friends just started like kissing or whatever in the corner. And then right. we like, what y'all look, what they're doing? <laughs> how was the rotation? It wasn't, I don't remember. I mean, it was so long ago. I don't really remember every detail, but I do remember that it was a lot of like everything going on. Like, I think out of the five girls, he might have fucked at least three. He didn't fuck me, but mm-hmm. he might have fucked at least, like, three of the five girls. Mm-hmm. And he definitely mm-hmm. fucked the girl that he was trying to get with all night. And how well, was it the out. next day? Everybody was just cool, like nothing? Like, nothing ever happened. Yeah. <laughs> he ain't I don't never think I hang out with y'all again. It I never happened. Yeah. He, he still was girlfriend. Like, well, did he continue to kick it with the chick? Yeah, that ain't work out. No, yeah. no. I could have told you that. <laughs> yeah, that ain't work out. <laughs> yeah, they first time was with six yeah, other people. I mean, how could she even out. equal up to that? Right. Yeah, that ain't work well, out. Well, Jojo, you never had like a threesome or nothing? A threesome, yeah, but that's like the most. I, I, I mean, I couldn't imagine like five other people. Yeah. Like, how does it work out? You know what I'm saying? Like, were, you je- were you too jealous, you think? Or were you jealous during a threesome? Like, who was... Oh, no, I was fucked up. Mm-hmm. No, I wasn't jealous because at the end of the day, it's like, I mean, we never saw the girl again. Like, it's uh, not that serious. They say that's how it has to work. You got to pick somebody. Yes. And then. See, for me, it's like, if you see, cheat. thing about that Angela, is. Have you ever done a threesome? No. <laughs> I right. haven't. So you'll be t- quizzing everybody on all these things <laughs> you have yeah. done. I'm not attracted to women, though. That's really why. Yeah. Oh, like, okay. So I've never had a threesome. But what I've, if your boyfriend is like. Can we please have a threesome? My no? boyfriend brought it up early on, like, hey, have you ever? I was like, no. He was like, so would you? I was like, no. And then he never asked me again. Yeah. So I you just would never? No, I just don't like women. So I don't want to like force myself to do something just because right. he wants yeah. to do yeah, it. Yeah, I don't think that's the move. I feel like, and you know, I hate when people be like, oh, you're doing that for him. No, I did mm-hmm. it because I wanted to do yeah, it. You like, do I, it. I, I, I feel like I only do it if that's something that you wanted I, to you try. Wanted to do it. I think for I me, never do like, it for a man. I'm a cornball because I don't want to do it, but I just right. know if that's no. not yeah. what you yeah. like. I think for me, I'm not I'm not into women. Like I've always been with men. So I've never had a threesome, but I've like, I'm a freak. I like, to get freaky. So you would do it? I would do it if I really was in a mood to. It's not something that I'm like, okay, tomorrow let's try it. Like, mm-hmm. it has to be the right. moment. But here's and the and thing, I think I would do it somewhere where we'll never see this bitch again. Like, we're not having a threesome right. with some bitch in Jersey. Your friend, right? Like, we're gonna go to a whole, yeah, we're gonna go to a whole other country. I'm gonna pick the person and then we just gonna go about our business and never see her again. What about two guys? No, that's too much work. See? No, that is too much work. <laughs> no, but why do yeah. they say that when you are in a relationship and you start having three sons, it ruins your relationship? Is that real? No, no I don't agree. Depends. You think on it's the opposite? Could. It depends, it depends on, on a couple. Help your relationship or does it ruin it? I Again, don't agree. I need clarity. It, like Candy said, you you do it because you want to do it. Like I have three sons because I want to have three sons, not because he want to have three sons. Like and it, it'll be sometimes where it I'll be like, let's do this tonight, or let's do this this weekend, or let's let's call this girl, call her over. Like it'll be me to initiate it. So, <laughs> yeah. so like, you don't oh, ever think it, you don't, you don't think <laughs> right. guys get carried yeah, away though? So. Huh? I think it depends I feel on like a the guy couple. Will get carried away thinking that it's okay to do certain shit. No, depends I on think you. Well, see, I've had that happen in the past. Yeah, I've had the guy go back and fuck the girl really behind my back right. that's what yeah, I'm but saying yeah but I was fucking his sister so I don't even care what? but see he <laughs> has a lot Gigi of is like, really like, <laughs> Gigi okay, is a freak elite Gigi is a freak elite so yeah. it do bring all the extra shit I mean, case by case scenario. Yeah, I think yeah it, it depends, depends on the person on the relationship. and the understanding. And, the person, yeah. and some people have rules, like when they do threesomes, like okay, you can't, like he can't have intercourse with her, but he could do other stuff. Like they have. Yeah, rules. I had a threesome mm-hmm. with a couple before, and he was. She said she told him that he didn't. She he couldn't eat my pussy, but he did it anyway. But he could fuck you. Yeah, she was like, she you can't eat her, but she well, he why did, did he it anyway. Why did he follow the rules? 
Because he wanted to. But why not? Why can't he eat your pussy? But he's I don't know why you. that was her rule. That was her rule. I see. Now, I think that's not right. If she gave him a specific thing, like, we're going to have this be yeah. but he should have abided by that. I Man, feel like. it rules are rules. If I, I have a rule yeah, and you, you break the rules, rules though, it's going to be hell doing this shit again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, Gigi, do you yeah. have rules? Like, do you have rules, like, other than you can't talk to her outside of when I say so? And you have to use a condom. And you gotta Period. come with me. Yeah. And you gotta come you with me. I'll be tight. If no, I don't you care came. who you come with. I don't care. You gotta I mean, come with me. That doesn't matter to me. I think, no. here's the thing. I think um, if you're trying it for the first time, you're gonna have a whole bunch of rules. Right. But I think right. if you've done it multiple times, then that's when you're a little bit loosened up and you yeah. don't have so many rules. Mm-hmm. But I think I'd rather make my man come if we having a threesome than right. just like, you fuck me, please me, and then I'm sitting there and then she makes me That's you come. because yeah. you've never yeah. done it before. Yeah, you feel that way. You you like, oh, I don't want you doing this. I don't want you doing that. But if you've done it before, then you loosen up. Like, don't you come on her face? You got to come on my face, right? (laughs) Yeah, no, yeah. (laughs) Or don't come in her mouth. You got to come in my mouth. I remember feeling that way before. Mm -hmm. You know, feeling like, oh my god, like never felt that. Never. Yeah. Well, I've never felt like, oh, you got to finish with me. So you're not a jealous girlfriend. What sign are you? I'm Gemini. Like, that's why. Y'all Gemini is the fuck. <laughs> that's what it is. What are you? That's good. I wish I was like that. I'm a Scorpio. I'm okay. jealous. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Listen, yeah. Bro, don't even look at him. Bro. Yeah. 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 But what about would you mind? What are you? <coughs> no, you said Virgo. Virgo. I'm a Capricorn. Capricorn. I'm a Taurus. You're a Taurus, yeah. yeah. Would you mind watching your man have sex with somebody else? Like if that was part of it? If that is I part of it. to do that. Yeah, like would you want to do that? Is that something that's part of it. Yeah. I mean, technically, yeah. Mm-hmm. But say you're not even participating at all. Yes, that's part of it. Fuck her. Let me watch. Maybe he was in the mood for that. <laughs> all right. This is a whole new world for you, Amy. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, I mean, I think if I was that's into it. That's one of the things I think about when I'm masturbating. I think if he was I was fucking her and I was watching. Yeah, I think if I was that. into it, I wouldn't mind watching, but I'd still want you to fuck me eventually. And oh, yeah, I, I'm going to join in. You come. But it don't, I, I'll sit back and watch for a minute. Let me roll this blunt while you bang her from the back. You know? <laughs> that sounds you know? good, right? Yeah. You, you know, know what that sounds, sounds good? good? When you lazy, you be like, yeah, suck his dick. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Just watch. Sometimes I, don't I need like a break. Don't work. Yeah. Yeah. No, like don't work. Don't work. Listen, go for it. I don't even feel like it. Go ahead, girl. Go for it. Suck his dick. And hey, you don't like it too much. Yeah. She don't give but I no, a break. A queen. <laughs> G don't be giving a fuck. I be needing a break. Okay. Uh-huh. I feel you. I wish I was Hand like my that. light work. I shoddy. wish I just didn't give a fuck too. Now, uh, Candy, have you always been comfortable like talking about sex, or was it something that was a process for you? Um, I think I've always been comfortable. I was always that friend that you know we sit around. I be telling them, I come back. Oh, guess what? You need to try this. Right. You know, yeah. like. You me know, too. me and my group of friends, we always talked about sex for years. Like I had like we called it the movie club. We go out to eat and go to the movies every Friday for like some years. And every week we come back with new stories or whoever dated who. We always talk about it. Like I always had the good jokes or fun right. stories. Like, yeah. Cause you know, some- you, you have that friend. I have that yeah. friend where it's like, I know I'm going to call her. She ain't going to judge me about shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I feel like Candy's that type of friend. I'm a no like, judgment zone. Yeah, 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 I feel like yeah, she's that too. type of friend. It's not mm-hmm. going to judge you. Yeah. 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 Is monogamy hard? No. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Have you always been like a, a monogamous type of girl? Was that something that you had to mature into? Um, yeah, I think, I, yeah, I def- I'm definitely a monogamous person. Um, like, I've never liked having like even I'm talking about now I'm thinking way back even mm-hmm. if I wasn't in a relationship I didn't want to have sex with another guy with like close in time period mm-hmm. I would feel weird or right. crazy like mm-hmm. yeah. you gotta give my pussy a break in between mm-hmm. like I don't really want like I if I'm like messing around with one person I don't really even if it wasn't like a relationship even if it was just a maintenance right. man like mm-hmm. I'm not it's really <laughs> like I didn't man. really want to just like hook up with somebody else like yeah. within a close proximity mm-hmm. what's a close proximity like our friend Avian close proximity have you have you gotten back in there yet cause she's single um, not yet. Mm-hmm. Eventually. Because, you know, the rebound rules. Some people feel like I got to go right back in, go for it. And some people feel like I need guys to take a little Guys feel right. like they need to go right yeah, back in. Yeah, guys are more like guys. that. But for girls, sometimes we do that, too. And then we be like really wait, miserable wait, what? after. Like after you go through a breakup. Some- oh, no, 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 no. 
Now, if I was broke up, I'd move right along and, yeah. and date somebody else. Like, I didn't, I didn't Life mean, goes like, on. I would ho- hold off for, like, months and months and months before I dated somebody yeah. else. No. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, if it's over, it's over. I think I'm I've done, done that in the past, but I just feel like men move on so quick. In two weeks, you're probably fucking a new bitch. Probably but even in a whole week. just because they're fucking so. her doesn't mean they moved in on. In two days. Right. That. And just because you fucking him don't mean you moved on. But he could okay. be the maintenance man. Yeah. True. <laughs> you could still be sad and still get this. Season, reason. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I need him just for right now to help me get over this help okay. you know we all have that guy yeah. yeah just until i feel a little better about myself just mm. stroke my ego a little give me something to do so i'm not texting him or calling him yeah sure. until i feel better about my life and then yeah bye-bye. i think it just all depends on the situation and i think as you get older you just like what am i waiting for support for today's show comes from third love third love uses data points generated by millions of women who have taken their fit finder quiz to design bras with breast size and shape in mind the results a perfect fit and premium feel simply answer a few questions to find your perfect fit in 60 seconds then once you receive your bra you can wear it wash it and put it to the test for 60 days if you don't love it just return it and third love will wash it and donate it to a woman in need it's all part of their 100 percent fit guarantee this is hands down the most comfortable bra you'll own with straps that won't slip tagless labels and lightweight super thin memory foam cups. They even have a line of incredibly soft and breathable cotton bras. Third Love knows it's a perfect bra for everyone, so right now they're offering my listeners 15% off your first order. Go to thirdlove.com slash lip service now to find your perfect fitting bra and get 15% off your first purchase. Just go to thirdlove.com slash lip service and get 15% off today. Do you ever feel bad about how you treated a guy? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> In the past, yeah. Yeah, in the past. Like, have we ever dogged somebody out? Look at Gigi's face. Uh, yeah. I had a whole little. Yeah. Do you feel like you get karma for it? Would you had a flashback? <laughs> yeah, I did. I had a whole little. Do you he feel was like so you be getting me, your karma for it? He's though? mad at you. Especially. Well, no, no. This was a while. You know, this was <laughs> eons ago. But somebody wanted to be in a relationship with me, and I didn't want to be in a relationship with them. But I. I acted like we were in a relationship, mm-hmm. but I just wouldn't give him that title. Mm-hmm. And he just was so mad. Like, why won't you be my girl? Because I don't want to. Right. But we act like we was in a relationship. We spent a lot of time together and he spent a lot of money on me and did a lot of shit for me. But no, we're not in a relationship. <laughs> but he knew you didn't want to be in a relationship. But he was so gung ho on, on yeah. why can't we? Like, what's why we we act like it's so why? But wh- why do we need a title if we live in this life and we doing these things together? Wh- why do we need a title? Mm-hmm. I don't want that title right now. So, yeah, I kind of feel bad because, but then it was to the point where even though we wasn't together, you're not about to be fucking with no other bitches and talking to other bitches. And you know what I'm saying? Like, Wait, what? Yeah. Right. <laughs> nah, but I wouldn't get his girlfriend. Right. Come on now. Yeah. That's not fair. <clears throat> because he was trying to do it in a disrespectful way. You're, you're not going to be, like, if I'm at your you house, you're not going to be FaceTiming the next bitch while I'm oh, in, that's the, different. in the room and yeah. you in the, on the couch FaceTiming oh, the next yeah. bitch. Wait till I leave. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Like, but then yeah. he probably did that to you because you didn't want to be in a relationship. Right. Exactly. I so that's, don't do that. That, that was his way of getting back at you. The get back, right? Oh, so you're not my girl? You shouldn't mind me FaceTiming? Plus you like And that's exactly how it was, too. Exactly. You ain't my you ain't my girl. But that's We single, ain't we? But that's disrespectful. You ever dog somebody? Yeah, of course. <laughs> you felt a long time ago. Did you ever apologize? Or you no, I mean no. I mean, I, well, I think eventually I tried to give him a chance, but it just wasn't working for me. I just didn't feel it for him like that, you know. Sometimes we try to force it too because it seemed like a good idea. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, I had like my friend. She time. talked me into it. Like that's <laughs> happened to me a couple times where it was like I wasn't really feeling the guy, but you know he was cool to go out to eat with, you know, to go on a date, whatever, whatever. And then he kept being like, "Well, why we can't? Why we can't be more than that? I mean, we've been hanging out for a lot." And I'm like, mm. you know. I just I ain't really trying to do that. I would keep saying that. And then my, my friend right hit me with the see. That's why you ain't in no relationship because you be so mean to people. You don't never want a nice guy and blah blah blah. Mm-hmm. And that's what she hit me <laughs> with. And so I call myself trying to make it work, and it just still wasn't. Working. That happens to me all the time. Yeah, Every time it. that I force myself. All my friends, my mom, everybody's like, uh, okay, I try. It doesn't work out. Mm-hmm. Because you can't if you don't like it. him, you don't like him. Nobody mm-hmm. can make you, you like force somebody. it. Mm-hmm. Right. You can't force it. See, that's right. me. If I don't like you, I'm naturally going to come off like that. 
I can't mm-hmm. act like I like you, so I'm just right. not gonna. Y'all need some you. arranged marriages or something. Why? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> for me, it's like I don't force it from the start. Like if I don't like you and we don't vibe, I'm not even gonna try because I'm just I'm already turned off. Like I don't like you. you know? I also feel like if I don't like somebody, I can't allow them to do nice things for me. Like right. these people, I'm cool with, but like I used to date this guy and he would buy me all this stuff, and I used to feel guilty yeah. about it because I liked him as a person, mm-hmm. but I knew we weren't gonna ever end up together, and I would feel bad. So you tell him to stop. Yeah, I did. Because you also feel like sometimes he if he's though. doing too many nice he did, he things, did. he thinks he's kind of like inching his way in and you yeah. never have a chance. Right. So just stop it. Gigi said he ain't stopped though. He didn't. Who are you talking about? Oh, I thought you was talking oh, about. Oh, no, yeah, that's somebody else. No. Oh, see. Yeah, oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> so was you single or what? What you were going on? Oh, no, no, no. I have a boyfriend, but I'm saying oh, there was do? a guy that used to buy me stuff all the time uh-huh. and I didn't. You buying me things is not going to make me like you. Right. 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 Like, just because you bought me a exactly. nice present. But that's, that's to you. It works with a lot of girls. It does. Yeah. <laughs> Has that ever worked? Because somebody bought you, like, some dope-ass presents. You're like, mm, I'll Maybe I'll give him a chance. <laughs> <laughs> give him a chance one day. And you're like, okay, it's not going to work out. Yeah. For me, if I don't, if our vibe ain't like, exactly. I can't even, like, hang out with you. Right. Yeah. Yeah, like I wouldn't Imagine even go to sex dinner with you. With like you. I just can't. Right. If if we're not like if we can't just talk and yeah. chill and all that, like no. Yeah, I'm not gonna go to dinner with you if I'm not if you don't yeah. look like the person I might fuck. Right. Because then I'm leading you on, and then you might try to come on to me, and it's gonna mm. be awkward because I'm not. Nah, I had a few of them that grew on me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that, that always happens. Yeah. You'd be like, I don't like him. That I would never. And then guess you what? Know. They be the ones that turns around the. That and shit happens. Fuck, <laughs> <laughs> fuck up your life. They be fucking up your life. I ain't even like you. Before. I was like, bro, hold on, bro. I you remember when I how used you to dog script. this guy, Facts. and now he answered my calls. Facts. Yeah, yeah it be so no. mad. Like he used to no. smack me. But no, yeah. one time I just, <laughs> remind you, this was years ago. But this dude, he had like a small one, right? And I was like, I found out he cheated. I was like, I the can't nerve. believe he out here cheating with this little <laughs> yeah. thing. Like, you need to be ashamed of that thing. Right. Are you throwing trying to throw it out? Check your little dick has some nerve. We had a bond because I, right, right. like, I didn't like, know you was gonna doing? pull his little dick out on somebody right. else. Yes, the like, nerve, the nerve, nerve of you. Yeah. You'd be so mad with somebody that you took <laughs> sympathy on. Nah, but that yeah. happens all the time. Every time you date beneath. Like what you like or your standards, they be the ones who drag you. That should have a nerve. Now, Katie, I gotta ask you: had a little dick, but was he good? Cause no. he wasn't even good at him. Here's another th- thing that I <laughs> the thing that I felt was so funny about it was that I, I was super young at the time, okay. right? And he used to like to talk, and I think he was like the first real talker mm. that I had. Oh met. my god! And he used to like be like, "Oh, like who pussy is this?" In my mind, I was like, "Not this sure." Is this. <laughs> but I just used to, that was that I, confidence. I, I appreciated his confidence. Right. Like, I was like, "Wow, okay." Like, he was overconfident. Right. Yeah, yeah, like he was Those doing the, the most. He couldn't eat pussy like, good because okay. I always heard guys with little dicks eat pussy better. They better. He was cool at that. It wasn't like he was winning awards or anything. <laughs> yeah, but he was you know. winning awards. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Listen, he better learn how to make up for it one way or another. Yeah, he was all right. All right, so um, this is how we always end the show. And Candy, I want to make sure that we plug everything that you have going on because the tour okay. starts in May. Yes. I want everybody to get your tickets at welcome to the dungeon dot com. Are get we going? Tickets. What are we doing? Twelve. Yeah, yeah, right. I need y'all to when come through. When is it through. coming to you? Houston? Is it's, that? Um, the Lord, let me go. Look oh, no, let's first, find out where the this tour starts. First weekend. I need is... to know some of these cities so we can figure out what's best. Girl, for us okay. To all come so to. we, we start in Chicago, up. May second. Okay. Oh, I just came from Chicago. Yeah, today. we're doing Chicago, Detroit, Philly, San Francisco, Los Angeles, Cleveland, D.C., New York, Kansas City, St. Louis, Dallas. Dallas and Houston. All right, so, all the so every cities. weekend in May, we're gonna take the dungeon. Mm-hmm. And my birthday's in May, so I'm selling my birthday. Celebrating my birthday, yeah, my birthday like a week before my all in the month dungeon. Long. Mm-hmm. Where are you gonna be? So which um which one is the birthday one? Oh, DC is DC? my okay. birthday's May seventeenth. DC be fun. I fuck with DC. DC yeah. May seventeenth. Right. Yeah, yeah, we should go to DC. We gotta yeah. make sure we come and support. I'm ready to um let loose. Yeah, we, we should, should get dressed up. Are you? I don't you know. You never know. Okay. I might hit somebody's butt from that the back. That would be fun. Oh, That's fun. You gotta get dressed up. Suck the dick from the back. And you getting dressed up? And y'all should bring the service like to one of them. Y'all can do something with the tension. We can bring it on the stage. Bring it on the stage. Yeah. Um, Question uh-huh. I don't even want you in before But I find this out What's the freakiest thing You've ever done um, The freakiest thing i ever done Let me see 
Let's see. It has to be a one on one situation. <laughs> I mean, I've had sex like outdoors before. I felt bad. It was in a park and kids could have seen I us. I did it in a park. That's, yeah. That's not. Okay, so that's not freaky. Um, I'm trying to think what's <laughs> freaky that I do. I don't know. What's considered freaky? Like putting your tongue in somebody's ass. I'm not big on that. I did that one time and I'm I didn't enjoy it. it. <laughs> You but didn't you didn't enjoy it. I didn't enjoy looking. I don't but you really like it. my asshole play with. That's why. Like we I, ain't talking about yours. We talking about. Oh, your, she brought that up. Uh, Let me see. What's the freaky? I don't thing? like mine either because it just feels like a wet ass when he. Yeah, does. that's what I say. Swamp <laughs> ass, and I don't want to feel I like said, that. They don't have the um, same feeling. Let me see. I like watch porn while I've had sex. That ain't freaky. But that's not really freaky. <laughs> Some you do at oh, teenage years. Okay, we um filmed ourselves, but not really filmed it. But we put it on the camera on the TV while we were having sex and watched it while we were doing it at the same time. No. All right. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to think but of something. What's the freaky thing you've done? Candy, give Angela a second after you just right, heard hold that on, thing. Hold on, hold on. Let me try to impress Candy. I don't want to make shit up. Um... <laughs> I don't know. I'm very, I guess I'm very like traditional. Yeah, I am, but I enjoy right. it. I had sex with oatmeal before. Like I had oatmeal. Weed oatmeal. Is that good? What? Wait, what do you do what? with the oatmeal? <laughs> you don't have sex like with food where you put the food on. It's but what do you warm. do with oatmeal? the oatmeal though? I never heard anybody do. All right, it was. It sounded like a good idea, but it ended up looking like somebody had an STD. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? Like why oatmeal? Where did you put the oatmeal? Where where did did you put I don't tell. But where you put on the body? Yeah, it's just warm on your body. Like he ate it out of me and that. Yes, you right. put oatmeal, oatmeal on your vagina. I'm very healthy, Candy. Yeah, but I'm saying you put oatmeal. <laughs> that can give you a yeast. Skin. Oh, it didn't. Oh, feels natural. Okay. But I'm trying to think earth. of something. I'm not like, look, I'm going to be honest. Like, I definitely have good sex, but I don't do nothing like. But what's considered crazy. freaky? Because I feel like even if you're having sex outside, I think that used to be considered freaky. And, and now it's just like, now it's like sex outside. Mm-hmm. What's yeah. the freaky happening? I want to know what's the freaky thing Kenny has done. I'm not the freakiest one here. <laughs> Having a guy on all fours. So we give it a little freaky. Okay, you have a dungeon. What's your side? I don't have a dungeon. I feel like you've had a party. What's the freakiest thing you've done? So, see, I don't want to make you look to be like, Battle me, Candy. Okay, you try to call me out. Right. Come on, battle me. <laughs> <laughs> me and Candy just not really that freaky. I had a foursome. Damn. Okay, a foursome. Was it three women and a man? Or yeah. okay, it's gonna ask. It could have been an orgy with men. and Two men, two women. That's just too much. <coughs> that's uh, freaky. You that's pretty freaky. With Gigi now. <laughs> no, she had four. She I'm at five. She wins. I, <laughs> she was five I think five on one is freaky, but I think having a guy on all four is is kind of freaky. That's different. But you that's not freaky can't. for you. That's freaky for him or. Yeah, true. I just feel like if you could get a guy on all fours, that's that's some freaky shit. Now a I guy feel like on I all it. fours? Yeah. yeah, I mean, I guess. Like I have I ever set the dick from the back? I haven't. I haven't. You should try it. He like doesn't I have just, to necessarily be on all fours. I, don't know, I just feel there. like all the guys I've dated would never get on all fours. You don't. He don't have to be on all fours with right. right. Yeah, they don't have to be. You what about just from the okay, what about, I'm still thinking of things. Okay, what about blindfolds and handcuffs? Is that slightly freaky? Mm-hmm. I've done That's that. Right. <laughs> That's but it's like gotta, beginner freaky. It gotta, it gotta be cool. <laughs> that's beginner <laughs> freaky. That beginner kit. That's freaky. like starter that's freaky. The starter kit. Starter kit. Yeah, that's right. That's the freaky. Stuff. What about handcuffs, <laughs> <laughs> blindfolds, and oatmeal? <laughs> hey man, you gotta be beat with the oatmeal thing because I never did anything know, like either. that. Oatmeal's you never know, about okay, your body. Let me ask y'all this because I, I I I had this conversation earlier. <laughs> Have you ever like say for instance been riding down the highway right? Say, for instance, your man is driving, but you're you're riding him. You're sitting in his lap, but you're facing. I did that. You're driving. <laughs> yeah, you're riding that. him. I yeah. did his, <laughs> his foot on the gas, and you, but you're I've doing the steering. Yeah, I've, done I've never done that. I've done that in Miami on 95 North at like five, seven o'clock on a Sunday morning. I've done it on 95 South in Atlanta. What yeah. about any of you? That no. sounds dangerous. <laughs> it was fun. Okay, and it, it wasn't planned. It was so it was so sporadic and random. We were actually on our way to like the house. How did that happen? Right. We were leaving the club. You know, in Miami, the club still open till eight in the morning. Mm-hmm. We was leaving the club, hella club drunk. 11, baby. And we were on our way to the house, and I started sucking his dick while he was driving. Yeah, yeah I started sucking his dick while he was driving. My pussy was just dripping down my leg, and I was like, okay, I can't wait to get to the house. I'm about to jump on that dick right now. He like, right now, right now. I'm like, yeah, right now. Pull your pants down. I mean, not pull your pants down. Slide the chair back. Yeah, he slid his chair back some, and I got on facing the same way. 
And then after a while, I'm like, oh, where did I put my hands? Oh, the steering wheel. And that gave me a, you know, yeah, you better. Was yeah. Driving. yeah. But you was driving. And I was staring. On yeah. the highway? Yeah. 95 North. You also were having a Teddy Pendergrass. <laughs> You got to do it at late when there's no cars. Really well, see, right. for me, it was 7 a.m. on a Sunday morning. There wasn't no cars either. That's a perfect time. Yeah. All right. I feel bad about myself. I'm not going to do that <laughs> in rush hour traffic. Like, Joseph, what's the craziest thing you've done, damn it? A threesome is the craziest thing I've done. Okay. Yeah. I'm like I'm over here learning, but I, I be I be I'm gonna start hitting her up like sis. Girl, you got my number. Girl. Well, I need to try this week. <laughs> what about you, baby? What's the craziest thing you've done? I think my freakness is pretty pretty average. I've had sex outside, like I've had sex in a bathroom in a restaurant. I've had sex in a car a couple times, shit like that, but nothing. Okay, so I don't feel too bad because yeah. mine is on par. I with haven't those. used oatmeal yet. I, I might try that. I should have <laughs> saved my oatmeal story for another day then, Dan. Oatmeal. <laughs> you know what? Oatmeal's yeah, not bad for you. It's really not bad for you. Yeah, don't have sex with food. It's First of all, I had oatmeal. I had oatmeal. It was oh, there. Okay. I guess, yeah. Oatmeal, banana, strawberries. To me, ice cream, whipped cream, chocolate, chocolate syrup. If you're lactose intolerant. Fruit. Grapefruit. <laughs> Strawberry. Grapefruit's healthy. It can burn. Be- oh, okay. Yes, it can burn again. Listen, let's just be clear. I'm very into like eating and drinking very good things so that people taste better too. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I think you taste so much better when you have these yeah. juices right. and all of that. Yep. But True. anyway, Candy, thank you so much for coming. JoJo, we're going to be watching you. <laughs> On the two part reunion for Love oh, and Hip Hop yeah. Miami. Stay tuned. Ooh. Stay tuned. She's not. She don't even watch the show. She can't watch herself. Really? Yeah. She's not enjoying herself this season. Okay. Did Wait. You so like you that? don't know what the other people are saying about you behind your back? I, I mean, in the Breakfast Club. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, yeah. how we find out. Like you watch, what you know, happened? What happens At by watching first, it? First, I was, but then it was just like it was started. It was just too much negative shit. And right. I felt like it was affecting my everyday. Like, it was just too much negative shit, so... Oh, you know what I wanted to ask you? I don't mean to cut you off. Go ahead. Did this, did this girl really put roots on you or y'all was just talking shit? Did she really, she like... She went to Mexico to get for her the roots. Breakfast Club tour. Girl. <laughs> now that shit real. I listen to the Breakfast Club every morning, so I'm... Bro, I'm, that, I'm shit, that shit was real. She really put something on you? Did you get it off? Yeah, she practiced did you, all that she shit. She went to Mexico, because... Wow. So did you, you go see somebody oh. to get it off Yeah, you? Right. you know you had it? Of course. You know why? I was getting up every morning at like five o'clock in the morning, like, like jumping out my sleep, like something with the, like, and I had told my dad, I'm like, bro, for the past month at five o'clock in the morning, when I tell you like a clock, I would get up, my heart would be beating. I'll look at my phone and I'd be like five o'clock every day. And then I told him and he was like, okay, what's going on? Mm. And that's, that's really how everything started. But really, you know, somebody that practices that, that you know. It's yeah, just, I ain't got time for that. That's like, yeah, people that's be going crazy. too far with the stuff on the shows, man. <laughs> that shit is a lot. Yeah, that's yeah. too much. That's yeah. why with when the show, it just, with, when all that stuff come, started coming out, I didn't even want to watch the show. It's too much negativity. Yeah. I would just wake up and just, yeah. you know, that? this girl that I fell out with. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Are there times you felt like you couldn't watch Real Housewives because you were like, it's too much negativity? I mean, it, our show is definitely stress, stressful, but I mean, we, they like for us to blog or talk about the show. And it's like, there's no way I could really do the reunion mm-hmm. without no watching way. because watch I, how would I but know? But I feel like, I feel like Bravo is not as bad as VH1. Oh, not at all. Well, I mean, y'all have more physical fights. So, physical, yeah. and right. I feel like it's just a lot more Mixy, ratchet, dirty, messy, mm-hmm. and all that. Mm-hmm. You better make that move over to Bravo. <laughs> right. you know Wait, what? remember when I was trying to do the show with you guys? Yeah. Did you guys do it? No. No, no, no. Can we do it? <laughs> She's like, Please. Please. I'm, I'm trying to get out of here. talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Hey, Candy, when's the EP coming out? I know you just started working and announcing. I got to wait. I don't, I don't want to make any announcements till I'm finished with it. Okay. Yeah. Still a work in progress. Still a work in progress. But it's happening. Yes. We waiting sure. for it. All right. It sounds like <laughs> I have work to do. And so do y'all. <clears throat> we have to have another talk. Yeah, man. Yeah, we got to go to the dungeon. We got to get do. these freak levels up. We got to go I'm to the dungeon tour. Y'all need to start doing like yes, some classes we're going to the dungeon <laughs> tour for Candy's birthday in D.C. I need everybody to come out to the dungeon. And, and everybody needs to come as their alter ego. Mm. And who is, you what is your alter ego? Huh, it was, oh, uh, her name is Ling Ling. <laughs> 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 you really Ling enjoy Ling. her. Um, <laughs> mm. 
Okay. Ling Ling's coming to the dungeon. Ling Ling. Bring out Ling Ling, Ling to Ling. the dungeon. Uh, all right. Well, thank y'all so much. I appreciate you guys for coming through. We have fun. I have some homework to do. You have homework too, Amy. Yeah. And so do sure, you, I Jojo. Do too. Uh, Gigi, we need you to chill out. No, I'm yeah. <laughs> Take it easy. She, she, she can teach lessons. <laughs> Candy, you might have a little bit to do too. You know, yeah, I mean, clearly. you got some toys from your collection that you need to be Try using. Out. Okay, mm-hmm. hey, you know, but you know what? Not really because <laughs> those toys aren't never gonna make it with Todd. Todd's gonna kill us, by the way. Yeah. So <laughs> oh, Todd is definitely gonna kill me. Kill He's probably us. like, why the hell was you on there telling all your damn business? <laughs> what if, or you might. I'd be like, you know, now that they brought it up. <laughs> you I know what? No, try this that is a funny thing. This is what I find to be funny. So, you know, being on the show or whatever, you know, and all that stuff, you know, came up and they were like, oh, you trying to take people to the dungeon, whatever. Do you know every other day we have women walk up to us like, I want to come to the dungeon. Ooh, Damn. Yeah. Okay. And they're not talking about the performance. No. The, they're talking, they're talking, about, they're talking about the imaginary, the imaginary. Right. Yeah. <laughs> It's like, it's so funny. Like, people actually be Believe. trying to... Bro, when I tell you, when I walked in there, I seen everybody from like, the Instagram famous girl to my hairstylist to my cleaning lady. I was like, bro, hold up. Everybody, everybody was in there. To my cleaning lady. I said, yo, everybody was so into it. Because That's it's dope. fun. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, it's definitely fun. And like, it was cool because everybody was just letting go. People was just like in that bitch naked, like no fucks given. <laughs> Y'all need to put a fake car in there so people could drive and have sex like they drive in the car, but it could buy be more in. safe, buy like in. a simulation. A practice. Buy yeah. Yeah. Like, buy practice. Buy Nobody's having sex at the door. Pole position. I didn't even try that. <laughs> You should. Don't you do that. that. It's dangerous. I, I feel like it is. Yeah, it is oh dangerous. <laughs> okay, wait, well, wait. Have you ever given head while you're driving down that? Yes. Yeah, yeah, but that's different. Have you ever gotten head while driving? No. Yeah. Yeah. But I feel like the whole, you know, jumping on the other side... <laughs> Doing that while you driving in the highway, maybe but not it's like a like twenty. No other cars that's super late. It's gotta be like a time of hour. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Let okay. me ask you this, Candy. Who gets the rag after sex? Do you get it? We take tag? turns. Okay. See, right. we were talking right. about that. It earlier. depends on the situation. On what's going on, right? Yeah, like it depends why? on the finito. Like yeah. how it how, how it did it finish? It? Yeah. yeah. We just determine who gets the rag. Now both of us sitting there tired. He's like, all right, ain't no rag. We just laid in this shit. However, sometimes you guys just let it dry up, and y'all both. Lay there. I want to clean it out, clean it off, make it fresh, mm-hmm. and just, just go to sleep and wake up and eat it and do it again. Mm-hmm. Right? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> but if I got a mess all over my face, then I'm just gonna lay there and wait for you to come clean it because right. I'm not. What if he does it? Oh, mess all on your face? Yeah, like if he came on my face, oh, okay. then go get the rag and clean the shit up off me. Will you let him do that? Right. Even though, you- I mean, sometimes it might be in my eye or you know. Have, I don't you, heard drip of, have you heard of actually? Oh, doing the most I heard of a facial. They said that it's good to put it in your skin. Don't I've heard that. Yeah. That's a fake story. Story. No, they said you gotta fake? let it dry. Though. That was a fake. Don't yeah, you, got, what, you that, peel it off real? or something. No, that's a fake story. <laughs> no, I always heard that was true. Try no, yeah, no. Uh, it is. That was like a sex bag story. Candy coated nights before. What, actually, you could put cum on your face and that's that that good for your skin. Yeah. yeah. But I will say this: Will you let him come on your face even though you just got your lashes done today? Yes, and guess how I would do it. You cover your eyes. Okay. Got to protect them legs. Gigi's a trooper. Matter of fact, I'm gonna let him come on my glasses. Yeah, she a trooper. But isn't that tough getting come in your eye? Like, I mean, it burns. Right? Be pink for a couple of hours, but then you be alright. Get Look, pink out. I'm not messing around yeah. with pink eyes. Like, yeah, don't, no. pink don't come eyes. in my eyes. It ain't nothing. Miss my eye. Right? Right? You be right? mad as hell. Like, why would you do that? <laughs> <laughs> No, you know what's the worst when it get in your hair, but you don't know it because it's all the way back here and you ain't see it at first. How did it get in your hair? Like, <laughs> you know, it gets messy. Yeah. Sounds like he's a shooter. <laughs> <laughs> he came in a long time. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's a shooter. <laughs> oh, God. All right, y'all. Well, again, thank you so much. I can't wait to go to Candy Show. We're going to report back and talk about everything that we saw and experienced. <laughs> next time I come back, I'm going to have more stories. Candy, next time you come on, I'm going to have more stories for you. Okay. All right. I you know, I'm, I'm hey, going to be waiting. To hear FYI, this. so are you. <laughs> yeah. Deal? Is that a deal? Wait, what other stories are you I don't you know. Expecting? You got to make your own. Yeah, look, if I have any more stories, I can't tell them on the radio. <laughs> okay, okay. And so is JoJo. She need a good guy. Yeah, well, JoJo ain't getting a good guy. I mean, you know. 
Oh, I keep trying to find some money. She don't care. She don't want no good guy. You like guy. what you I like. Know, I don't want nobody right now. You need job. a reformed good guy. Yeah, you need a guy. I mean, a reformed bad guy. You know what you I just tried? You need a guy tried? that used I to, to go, be a thug. I call them MWE Marys with Edge. Nah, you know what I just tried? And it did not work out. Somebody mm. younger than me. I was no. like, all right, if I can get somebody younger, yeah. I can shape them up. You know what no, I'm saying? Nah. Do all that? No. Why not? No. They play too much. Yeah. yeah. And sometimes you got to teach yeah. them too much. Yeah. And you're still yeah. pretty young yourself. Yeah, how old are you? 26. Come yeah. on, girl. Oh, oh, I'm an old soul. I'm an old soul. Yeah, so you don't need nobody know for you. Like, could he the, buy a drink? Which, of course. I'm okay. thinking like, you know I'm, used to, <laughs> I'm used to dating like way older men. So now I'm like, this time around, I swear, this is ha- just happened. I was like, bro, I need to date somebody younger. Maybe no. I can, you know, sharpen them up. No. All that. It's, it can't work. Is nope. he a rapper? No, he's an athlete. Okay, athlete. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, Lord. That's mm-hmm. the problem. Rappers, athletes. Yeah. That's what I was saying, man. I didn't he go to just, church. A lot of times to me, a lot of those athletes just like to say they been with famous chicks. Right. So they love, they have, like, you know, mm-hmm. they'll be having they want to be lit. Five, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Where did you meet Todd? See, he he worked, worked on production the show. Yeah, on, on the show. show. Yeah, you lying. I'm not lying. We weren't supposed to be dating. And so since y'all met y'all liked each other or it was like whatever um yeah Yeah. like y'all were out of the country or something yeah we were in Africa Mm. and I didn't really know him yet I hadn't met him and one of the girls that I was friends with on the crew was like oh you know I don't know somebody don't want to take you out and I was like who she was like Taz I was like which one of these guys is Todd? I'm gonna figure out who it is and when I saw him he didn't even speak to me at first so I was like that can't be he can't you know that's gonna be true but Later, oops, excuse me. Later, he came and um, because he had to talk to me about something that show related or sure whatever. Sure, he did. No, 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 no. He really did. Uh, <laughs> no, right. no, I didn't know him. I didn't right. know him. So it was like he had. They ta- sent him to tell me something, and so we started. He was probably like, "I'll tell her." <laughs> we started having a conversation, and it was actually his birthday that day. And so we were walking around, and we were just talking, to talking. They had a surprise party for him, and I ended up hanging out with them there. And after that, we just kept talking. And at the end of the night, he kissed me, which I thought was like okay, mm-hmm. because most guys are intimidated. Right. They don't just right. go in. On the first day they meet you. It was his birthday. He was like, yeah, he was like, so I actually <laughs> liked it. He was a little aggressive. I was like, okay. okay. Right, right, right. right. Like, so, this is like, yeah. When we got back to um, Atlanta, we started hanging out, and that was a wrap. You now we've been married. Damn. We about to have our fifth, five year anniversary That's wow. next yeah. month. Right before Candy got in a relationship, or she people knew about it, some guy had hit me up. He was a ball player. Oh, yeah. I forgot he about that. He played in the NBA, and he was like, So I really want to talk to Candy. Can you set it up? So I sent her a message. Oh. I was like, Yeah, my friend wants to know. She's like, oh, I just got in a relationship. Mm. I was like, sorry, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be quicker than that. Yeah, too late. No, right. <laughs> too late. But you know. So um, it just happens out of nowhere. Yeah. The basically, random yeah. And then, you know, you just gotta be open to, you know. I think that's my problem. I don't be open. I'd be like, nope. nope I think nope. the most unexpected situations are the ones that really kind of change your life. Right. You know? mm-hmm. Like the yeah. one where you wasn't even looking at him, right. you wasn't right. even thinking about right. fucking him, and then y'all end up together. It's like, damn. And True. he made the effort. That was cute. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. It for sure. <laughs> I mean, he was just he was new to um Atlanta at the time. He had only been there like a month. So it's like I called him right when he got I was there. Just you know, because most of the dudes in Atlanta once they get there, oh, they ran through. it's over. They're gonna yeah. run through everybody. They ran through. Yeah. It's a single <laughs> that's town. The thing, right, too. You know? I live in Atlanta. I think that's what's rough. Who, I need yeah, you know, Atlanta. Atlanta. You need to move. I need to move. <laughs> but I think the other problem is I feel like all the girls looking for the same dude. Everybody yeah. wants the baller. Everybody wants the, the ball player. Thing. Everybody wants want the dude them. that's Listen, popping camera, mm-hmm. I don't want them. They follow me. I promise but to you, But that's for all of us, though. Right. You know what that's, I mean? Okay, okay. No, so you know, that's what 20 girls are yeah. well, You know, everybody that's kind of doing something, like all the guys is like, okay, yeah, I'm going to mm-hmm. get her, I'm going to yeah. get her. So it's like, but everybody seems to want that same type of dude. And I feel like that's part of the problem. Right. Like, yeah, you know, all those dudes, they just feel like, oh, yeah, they can keep running through them. You know yeah, what I mean? Right. They're not really looking to settle down, especially especially not in Atlanta. Right. right. Get, somebody Atlanta's Atlanta's dead, so. get somebody different a chance. Get somebody different a chance. Yeah. Yeah. Telling you, you need a guy that used to be a thug that's a business owner. 
owner now. Yeah, yep. agree. Yeah. Somebody yeah. got that dub. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, you need a dub. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> That's a terrible example. Yeah. Ghost is still into these streets. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. You know, I just feel like, you, you need know. a ghost what they think he is. You need yeah. a, what's his name? Um, Jamie? You need a Jamie. You need a James St. Patrick, Patrick, not a ghost. A James St. Patrick. You need a James St. Right. Right. Patrick. Or you need a ghost son. <laughs> oh, no. Teach me the game. Ghost. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, you know, I, it's, yeah, he'll, he'll come. Mm -hmm. He'll come. Just don't and be looking for the same young. dude everybody so else. So before Todd, he was like chilling. Before Ty, yeah, I was chilling at that time. I mean, I guess I was similar to you or, it, you know, single, still dating, right. you know. And, and busy as hell. Yeah, mm -hmm. I was busy. I was definitely busy. I mean, I was just dating. I actually had got, got gotten comfortable with being single. Mm -hmm. right. So I was really kind of like feeling like, okay, cool. Well, I'm just going to be just single doing, you, and doing right. me. And yeah. so I really wasn't like tripping about being That's why I'm, in a I'm not tripping. Like, yeah. I'm chilling. So it just yeah. kind of happened. happened that way. Yeah. It's right. when you least expect it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Let somebody court you a little bit, you mm -hmm. know? Sis, listen. Give it two I dates. go to sleep and I'm not stressed about. I feel like when you start dating, it's like I don't want to start worrying about somebody right. else. You feel me? Right. Like when you start dating, it's like why he didn't pick up the phone? Where he at? See, that's yeah. the wrong guy. All that, bro. It'd be way too much drama. I'm so glad I'm not single no more. <laughs> that's serious. it. That's why right why? now, like it's like, bro, that. like I want that. Yeah, it's too much. Like, I ain't got time for the games. Yeah. Like it's I got too, too much. much. Uh, and then Instagram that made everything worse. <laughs> it's just yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 yeah, like I be feeling bad, like for my single friends. I'll be like, man, y'all just got it's too much out there. It's hard to You don't be trying to hook them up with none of Ty's friends or nothing? Um Well, not really. You know, a lot of Ty's friends are settled down. Oh, okay. I mean he have a couple he has a couple of single <coughs> friends. And you know You hear that, Jojo? But you know, once <laughs> once one of his friends dates one of my friends, it's over. Now y'all right. in the middle because of the Because now shit. it's like, I yeah, we together. Like, yeah. That's happened mm -hmm. before. And then it's like drama. It's so annoying. Yeah. yeah. And then you can't like You gotta figure out who you invite. That the yeah. friend bring the other girl that drama. I wanna come, then she's like, right. You can't come because he with the other girl. It's a whole yeah, bunch of shit. It's too I, much. Yeah. Too much. yeah. All right. All right. Now we really ended the show for real. Okay, right. that was that was time. Time. No, we, just no, we had a great time. I'm so glad that you made it. I was like, yeah. Candy's coming in town. I came right off the plane. Yeah. Girl, I came took here. off work. Right on yeah, you. Gigi right. took off from yes. work. I was like, Candy coming? I'm taking off. Because we usually film during the day because I work at night. Oh, okay. And when she's like, Candy coming, but it's at 8 p.m. I was like, oh, I'm taking off. That's candy. fine. Yeah, she yeah. took off. I'll be there. Period. And she came straight from the plane. I came straight from the airport. Yeah. <laughs> Jojo came in this morning. So we yeah. appreciate it. We really mm -hmm. do. Well, it means a lot to us. Thank you. I have fun. 